the conjuring. That's 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 deep. That's <laughs> nah, I don't know about that. Some <laughs> niggas might. Yo. Some niggas might uh. Niggas crash might. out. They might crash out. <laughs> that would be mad. I feel like that would be mad funny. Like, imagine who you think would be possessed. I'm going money line Jason. Man, money line Jason. Everybody either. getting possessed. Nah, if there was one person you could pick, probably Jakai. <laughs> Whew, okay, yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 134. I'm your host, DWAK Darius. I'm here with my co host and one of my brothers. Say what's good to the people, my brother. Yo, yo. Y'all know it's Ish. He's back in the building. If y'all new to this channel, subscribe down below. You know, a click is always free. Comment, send, post, no oh, press the, you know, the little bell, post notifications. You know, it helps us with the algorithm. Send it to a friend. And before we start the pod, bro, mm. I want to I wanna shout out these. I, I don't know if you peeped in the chat I sent like uh this week. Uh there was I was at um American Dream type shit. Uh, uh, I got I, w- I folded, bro. I didn't get their names. I don't know if y'all y'all watching this, <laughs> but if y'all watching this, shout out to y'all. For whoever came up to me and asked for pictures, that shit was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That is tough work, nigga. That I was is... just sit- I was just standing. Wait, one more American Dream. Ah, uh, yo, I was I was like, nah, this is not happening. So I was. What did they say? How did it exactly? So this is what go? happened, right? So I'm standing. We're outside. I of, just seen the video. I ain't going on. <laughs> I ain't see exactly what happened. So we was outside bed and bath and body works, or whatever. Cause Jay's family. It, this was just. It was um, Jay's one of Jay's like cousins or family friends came up from Georgia and we, they never been to the mall. So we was like, I will right, we'll take them to the mall. So we just walk around the mall. They went to the bed, bath and body works, and me and Jay was just sitting outside. And I'm sitting on like the little pillars, and then this little kid walks up. He taps me. He was like, he was like, "Can I have a picture?" I said, "Huh?" He was like, "Can I have a picture with you?" I was like, and then the and then his older brother came up behind him. He was like, he was like, "You the guy, right?" I was like, "What you mean?" He was like, "Is this you?" I was like, "Oh yeah, that's me." I was like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh me. shit!" I was like, "You guys want?" A, he's like, "You want a picture?" I was like, "He's like, yeah, can we have a picture?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." I'm like, "Oh no, nah, this is really happening." Uh... Now, and like I'm a sick I'm a sick nigga I ain't gonna lie I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of weird like I be thinking about a lot of shit throughout the day so like when we're walking through the mall I was just like yo what if somebody just like walked up to me and just like yo I seen you from the podcast Cause I be I be thinking that there's some people that like probably like see us like throughout the you know like in like normal life and they probably been like I seen him from somewhere <laughs> like yeah. I seen like niggas like I seen Ish from I seen he looks familiar but like I don't know where he's from like I feel like I get that a lot mm-hmm. but like they never say nothing. Or I usually get like you know um you know that Smoothie King in yeah. Union niggas be like oh you that guy from TikTok right I was like yeah he's like yeah I be seeing your stuff but they don't say they like it they just say I see it <laughs> that's fucking crazy like they're like yeah <laughs> I say I see your stuff is crazy like what does that mean they like, don't even say <laughs> what, anything about it what am I supposed to say to that like I'm like all right what what do you think of it <laughs> that's, that's what I'm gonna say that's what, what I say and then be like yeah it's like just, oh that shit was tough all right. Yeah, you gotta be like, hey, did you like, comment, and subscribe? Nah, I can't. You be gotta do- start pressing people. <laughs> Tyrone like, does that. Yeah, I would do that. Hey, I'm I- gonna press y'all. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me see the proof. I'm gonna press them. Like, if they don't got proof, <laughs> if they not following or they not subscribe, nah, pro- no picture, no, no picture, no, <laughs> no, no, sh- no merch, no I nothing. Should've. Nah, I would. That been. Cr- I would have felt bad. <laughs> Yo, you have, you should have pressed them. Be nah, like, yo. nah, I Be can't like, do Pull that. up your phone. Pull up your Instagram right now. <laughs> pull up your YouTube right now. Let me see. Nah, they was mad young. Even the other kid, he had like dreads. He was his mom was like, yeah, he was mad nervous to talk to you. I said, really? He was like, bro, you don't gotta be nervous. I'm a normal guy just like everybody else. And then I just took a picture with them. I was like, thank you, bro. He's like, yeah, bro. I just seen your video. Y'all just posted today. I was like, oh man, I appreciate it, bro. I was like, dang, this is the first. And then Jay's parents all gassing me up and shit, like, oh my god, y'all famous. Y'all, they walk around me like I'm, they ain't my bodyguards and shit. <laughs> so if, if you're watching this, I appreciate y'all. And you know, if y'all see us in public, say what's up. You know, we normal people. He better than me, bro. I would have pressed y'all, bro. D- don't walk up to Ish. I'm like, what, bro? <laughs> nah, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> Ish, like, nah. Ish might, you know, scare you a little bit, but no, it's it's good to see, you know, the work that is, is really starting tough, to show, bro. Yeah, cause I all I be getting like the most of the time it'd be like from camp, like when I work at the Rutgers camp, they'd mm-hmm. be like, you be like, yo, you got, uh, we be watching your podcast and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's tough, bro. But it'd be like they'll like sometimes they'll DM me and Insta on Instagram or on TikTok. They'd be like, yo, Coach Darren, I said, like, what's up, man? Like they talk to me. I'm like, that's tough. But nobody ever asked like, yo, can I get a picture? Yeah, that's when that's, I was like, 
That's different. Then that's like ah, that's a. Fr- I, I got. We gotta get used to it now. Like we gotta. Like what are we supposed to say? Like I, I froze. I was mad nervous. I'm like shit. Yo, they caught me. Like I literally wore the I same fit. Like, who me? Nah, impossible. <laughs> impossible. impossible. This is not right. Y'all playing yeah, around you me? Really shit. watch? Right. Man, shout out to y'all though. Shout out. Hey man, that's what I'm saying. It, that's that's good to press people because we almost at 10k. Subscribers gotta, gotta press them So we gonna start Pressing y'all bro Like comment subscribe It's so simple We wrote the 10k bro 10k We're gonna drop Something special for y'all man it Might mm. be the adventure vlog Who knows Who knows Exactly Just get us the 10k You know what I'm saying But we got a lot of stuff To talk about on this podcast We got a lot of things That go from P. Diddy To oh. Yeah We got Shit. I got some mysteries That I, I've read Or I've seen on TikTok And I got a couple Topics to talk about With movies But the first thing I wanna talk about bro so mm-hmm. you you know what's going on with P Diddy, right? Yeah. So people, I know we t- I talked about this on the last pod, but I got more information about P Diddy. So if y'all don't know, P Diddy is being sued out that out the 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 keister, bro. Like that nigga. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've seen this one article that is comparing P Diddy to Jeffrey Epstein, bro. Like he's mm. the modern day Epstein. Like have mm. you seen that shit? Like, you seen what they was talking about? They were saying... No, I didn't see it, but, I mean, I was low-key talking about that today at work, too. Really? I ain't gonna lie. Like, the shit he was doing, bro? Like, it's, it's basically similar to to him. I ain't gonna lie. It is, bro. Like It is very similar. This is what they said. They said... There was, like, a, a producer or whatever that said that P. Diddy is, like, doing what Epstein did. So, what he does is, like, you know how they have, like, the P. Diddy parties and stuff? Like, mm-hmm. he invites everybody. So, he invites, like, all the celebrities. He'll invite... um. A bunch of celebrities from around the world, but he also invites a lot of like high government officials, like you know politicians and like fam- bro, you know he's like wealthy, bro. He got, anybody he got, anybody that's wealthy is gonna be at that. It's not just famous people. Exactly. Anybody wealthy, well, anybody with money, like mm-hmm. the billionaires and stuff, they all come to his parties. And what he does is he'll have drugs, alcohol, sex workers, and a lot of underage kids there, not knowing. But he does. He's doing this on purpose. So what he does is he'll have like these people that are partying and stuff, and some of them. He'll put like he'll give them drugs, and I remember a lot of his like people that be, he be around. They'll have like fanny packs with the drugs in them, mm. like everything. They got crack, uh, roofies, all that shit in the fanny pack. So if P, uh, did you need something? Like yo, come here. Let me get the drugs. Take the drugs out. So what they do is they'll drug some of these officials, and they'll he'll give them some sex workers, and they'll go to these rooms, and all the rooms have cameras yo. in them. That's wild, and he would use it yep. as like blackmail. Yep. That's what exactly what we was talking about today, bro. Bro, that's exactly that's fu- that's crazy. I was talking about sick, that, at bro. Work. Yeah, because it's like, bro, you already took that money, and then they about to blackmail you. Exactly. You already sold your soul, mm-hmm. and then they about to blackmail you. It's like, now you're done. Like yeah. what? Can, now now you really. I heard a something from. about MGK, uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. This this interview is like ten years old. Yeah, yeah. What's his name said? Uh, P Diddy gave him some sort of drug. Yeah. Man said he was tweaking. Like an hour later after he took it, he was tweaking. Like outside his crib, he was tweaking out like naked, like just tweaking. Like on some like uh, what was that movie? Like some fucking like Hangover shit when them niggas like don't remember nothing. Like they was just yeah, but he was just like outside, like in another world. He said. You when he woke up, he was he was naked. Like really, and this is ten years. This interview was like nine years ago. Oh my god, that's what I'm saying, bro. And it's like even even the nigga that's suing Diddy right now, he said that bro, he's not even in in jail, and he's still in, exactly he's still gets in all the these United accusations, He's bro. still he's in Florida, bro. He's in Miami, right? They, they say he um they thought he what's it called? I thought he went too. I then thought I, he went to I seen Bird pictures of him talking to the police, and they he ain't being arrested. He ain't getting arrested. That's it's weird, bro. So he something's really, up. I think he really got some control over like either politicians or just like the feds in general. Because imagine how much tape he got on people for real. Like Epstein did this in the nineties. He's doing this in the two thousands with like actual like HD footage. So he got he really got people in 4K doing some wild shit. Yeah. So if anything, if P, whatever P did he wants, that shit he get it, bro. And it's it's like um, a lot of and I remember the the person that's suing him. He said that he like he went to P Diddy's house. He he took some drugs and he blacked out and he just woke up. He he woke up next to a sex worker, butt ass naked. And then he said he woke up one time next to P Diddy, butt ass naked. I'm like, oh nah, this nigga's Bill Cosby niggas, bro. This is it's it's a wild thing, bro. Like I understand, nah, I don't understand shit. But it's like, 
you know, it, and like nobody's even talking about this for real. Like they're really all they're talking about is like, I don't even know. They're talking about like the 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 um solar eclipse that's gonna happen next week or something like that. They're not talking about pe- like this shit is really some movie shit, bro. No, nah, this is crazy. It's a lot of accusations. A lot of accusations, lot. bro. And I even heard a a whole lot more. Even um and like I remember I I don't know if you used to watch like there was a interview before like you know those interviews where they be at the barber shops and they sit in like little barber chairs and they be talking and shit like that. So there was like an interview with some guy. I don't know who he was, but he said that he got invited to one of like the like P Diddy's parties. And he said it back then, like they used to do mad weird stuff. Like they used to be like having like it would be like big orgy parties and sex parties. And he wasn't with none of that. But they said like he told him he was like, bro, if you want to be famous, you're gonna do yep. like you're gonna do what I say. And that's what they were saying in the in the document that they sued him with. His they said that P Diddy would get a lot of these upcoming like artists and people that he thinks is gonna be famous and he'll bring them to these parties. And he'll take advantage of them, and then he'll use it as blackmail and blackball, and be like, "All right, if you don't want to do this, you're not gonna be famous. You're not gonna uh, go up in your careers and shit like that." He said he did that shit with Justin Bieber. They, he said he yeah, groomed there Usher. Of, there was a lot of sick stuff. Oh man, bro! They said he got Usher when he was like 14, bro. That's sick, bro. I seen another thing that uh, they were saying about P Diddy. They said, um, "So everybody, so ever since P Diddy was on the run, right?" They're saying he's taking people down with him. And the people that he's taking down, yeah. they say he's taking down Jay-Z and Beyonce, bro. Yo. That's fucking nuts. I'm not going to lie. That's fucking wild. You heard? But I mean, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about them. I ain't going to lie. That's what I'm saying, bro. They said they were potential names on that. Uh, Epstein list. Yeah. I mean, there are names all over shit for both worlds. A bunch both of lists. worlds. So do you think, but the, the thing that P. Diddy was saying about Jay-Z was that, I don't know if you remember, maybe, I think it was like 10, 10 years ago, when uh, P. Diddy was, P. Diddy and Beyonce was having their first kid, Blue Ivy, but there was a rumor going around that Jay-Z was cheating on Beyonce with this one girl, I think her name was like Kathy White or something, hmm. do you remember that? I think so. So, right, so supposedly, back then, um, so I think Beyonce, it was like, I think it was 2011, Beyonce ex- Told the world like, yo, yeah, I'm ha- I'm pregnant, whatever. I think it was like during an award ceremony. But five days after that, Kathy White dies. So it was mad weird, and people speculate that Jay like Jay Z had something to do with it because supposedly she was gonna tell the world that she's been sleeping with Jay Z and she was also pregnant, she but she did. ended up being sick out of nowhere, and it was just like she just died of like a heart attack or something like that, and it was just mad weird. And P Jeez. Diddy is saying that Jay Z killed her. Just so she don't ruin his image or their image of like the perfect couple and like the perfect power couple. Because at the time, you know, Jay Z yeah. and Beyonce really like on top of the world. On top of the world. So if you really mess with that, they done. Yeah. And even, bro, we gotta start listening to Kanye, bro. Cause I think he's he's telling the truth. He was saying it a minute ago, bro. He said he said, like, yeah, Jay Z and Beyonce, they evil people. Jay Z and Beyonce have like been blackmailing the industry for years and that's why uh, Beyonce be, be winning all these awards and shit like that and Jay-Z has people that can really kill people like he can get people out of here and set in a um, matter yeah, of time I ain't gonna so I ain't gonna lie I don't know if you up that if, if you up that high bro in power like money wise and power wise like mm-hmm. there's just no limits of what you can and can't do like, exactly Especially you can't mess with those people, man. Especially if it's like you got you got a lot of resources. And they shit. have unlimited resources, low key. They like, can they can they can really because what aren't they both like worth a billion dollars or something like that? Bro, Jay Z, Jay Z been a billionaire like years now, and mm-hmm. Beyonce, like, low key too. She became a billion billionaire a couple of years ago too. But mm-hmm. yeah, they both fucking like come on. And it's like, I know, I know it's always cliche to say about the Illuminati and things. I don't I don't think th- I think there's something Illum- the Illuminati is real though. But it's not like I don't think it's like what people say it's like you are worshiping something crazy. Like there's always you know there's always secret societies in the world. Yeah. Like Freemasons is a real thing. Like Illuminati they're all real things, but I don't think it's to the point where these people are like cloning each other and doing shit like that. I think that that's some weird shit. But I do think that there are people that are in some of these little hierarchy clubs that is like controlling the world in a sense. Cause I, you gotta think about it. All the the people that control the world is not like it's not a politician leader. It's the niggas that got all the bread. Yep. 
you know how many billionaires be in the they own everything they, they, they own, own everything they own the equity and everything bro all them niggas in, they own up all them dang stocks what's it called all them dudes in saudi arabia with the turbans they be they i think most of them are billionaires like the the richest people are like from saudi arabia and all that stuff yeah the middle east in general they they got a lot of resources and money out there bro they told That's us a fact. they tell us that we can't use the oil we done what the fuck we gonna oh, yeah. do? Yeah, gas prices are gonna be through the roof. That's why I remember when we was in Cali, mm-hmm. how expensive that shit was. To bro, it was if, like if they was to stop giving us that shit, oh, we would the U.S. probably go bankrupt. I ain't going on. I'm saying, I mean, what, what was it in Cali? It was like seven, six, seven dollars, right? That shit was like seven dollars a gallon, bro. And we're from we from Jersey, New York area. We used to high gases be like three, three something. What was the most you seen? It was like maybe like three, three ninety five. It was almost at yeah, four dollars. Almost four dollars, yeah. It was but almost at four dollars. Anything so. more than four dollars is crazy. Exactly. Imagine it's crazy work. We would we would all put forty dollars for gas. That shit would get us like a quarter tank. A quarter bro. tank is wild. Forty dollars, exactly. So it's that like means the people that live over there, like that's what I'm saying. That's why there's so many <laughs> electric uh, cars. Yeah, and homeless people in Cali because it's mm. so damn expensive. Like, bro, you seen them? They was living on the beach, bro. Yeah, you can't do that shit. over here. They'll kick you off the beach immediately. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they let them do that shit. I remember there's no, there's really is nowhere for us for them to go. Like. I heard, I heard there was like I forgot who I forgot who told me. I don't know if it was you told me. Somebody told me there was like there was um. I think the homeless people in Alaska, like the governor of Alaska, he like made a deal with the governor of California to send his homeless people to California because like they can't live on the streets in Alaska. Oh, they will shit. fucking die. Think about that. How do you have homeless people in Alaska, bro? That's what I'm saying. That's must suck. That's shit. That's bro, ass. Homeless in Alaska. <laughs> you that, cold as that shit. Cold. Nah, you can't live in that cold. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. You can't live in that cold. So it, he was like, I it'd guess be, it'd be <laughs> below freezing. Like, there's no way. Yeah, There's bro. No way. He was probably tired of like them things probably like dying on the street. People don't want to see that shit. So it was like, all right, just go to California. But like, how the fuck did they get him there? Like, did they put him on like a private plane on a boat? Like, what the fuck did like what the hell did they do? So that's probably why like a lot of the homeless people try to get to California because they allow like the homeless people and shit like that. Yeah. I think you know what it was? I think um, you know what it was I know what it was. It was me and Jay went to New York City and we was on the train and then we met these two, a couple and like his parents and it was weird. Like he had a big ass like life size. It was like a real Annabelle doll. It was so weird. It was like this big, and he was like, and because you know on the train there's no seats and shit. So we was like, oh, can we just stay? He's like, yeah, it's fine. And I seen the Annabelle doll. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. We're here on a um, vacation. And then he told me he's from California, and he had a. I think he owned a bar in Santa Monica Pier, mm. and he was telling me about the whole shit where they would like take people from Alaska or like colder places, like maybe like Minna, maybe not Minnesota. But like Alaska and like Canada, and they'll send them to California. And that's why the homeless people is like rising up. Like that's why they're everywhere. Like we think we have a lot of homeless people. Yeah, no, they have <laughs> they have crazy amounts. Nigga, that shit is like they lined up. Like it's like a whole town, bro. Like that shit's sick. Even like remember when we went to Philadelphia, Philly, bro. Yeah, Philly was crazy. That now that's not homeless people. That's crap. Nah. Those are junkies. I never seen that shit before, bro. That shit is <laughs> bad. Like it's just strictly like. People fiends like it's not even like regular humans, regular home homeless people. Like it was just straight fiends, like, bro. Fiends, it's just scary, and this it's just hundreds mad of them. Police out, they can't do nothing about it. Like you just gotta make sure they don't walk too far out, bro. Nah, that road that we went down though. You was there with us, right? I wasn't there the first. Oh no, you wasn't. You was there the second the day. First day, but the, the first- second day. Yeah, second day was still crazy. I heard the first day was maximum. Bro, bro. I wish I had that on film. When I tell you, I swear it looked like Zombie Land. I was scared to hit somebody. I almost hit somebody like three times because they were just walking into the car. Bro, was- you know that freaking that Philly rapper? Uh, I don't know if you know him. I think it's his name Skilla Baby. Is that the dude with the dreads? And he was made a video with the the, Bro, the fiends. He, he made it right there where we. Where yeah. we drove by every that's in the heart in Kensington. Wait, which one? That's t- under the bridge. The dude with the dreads, he looks like Kodak. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, from yeah, Philly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that one, bro. Bro, he his 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 freestyle. It was just straight, just straight. I'm like, yo, this that might be W marketing. Is, that is tough, but that <laughs> shit was so I don't, so dirty, and I'm like, I wouldn't want to touch sad. none of them niggas, it's just bro. Sad. Like, like if you want to, like honestly, twenty percent of those people might have probably have AIDS, bro. They definitely have AIDS, like at least twenty percent. And he, like, I would not want to touch them. Like, I know most of they probably at least maybe 
out of the hundred people, maybe like one or two got HIV. I give like say thirty of them got AIDS. Somebody got some some shit where if you touch them, like you're done. Yeah. So I'm he's wild. Like he was freaking touching them girls and shit. Crazy work. I seen another another rapper. He looked like um, he looked like what's that nigga name? What's that rapper? He got long ass hair, and he. He has long hair and like he wears glasses and shit, like long. You know who I'm talking about. He's like, what is his name? Long hair and glasses. Oh, what's his name? What's, what's his, his name? skin color? He's like he's like Spanish. That nigga Baby Tron. Yeah, Baby Tron. Yeah. He looked like him. He had he was. I don't know if he was in that same area, but he had like like a hundred k in cash, and there was just mad homeless niggas around him. Oh, I'm like that was that's that scammer dude. That really. Oh, I think I know. Was that the scammer? He dude? have a. He's a light skinned dude. Yeah, he's a light skinned dude. That's that scammer dude. He had hella money with him, right? Yeah. He was next to fiends. That's he's... that scammer dude. That that punch punch man dev or something like that. That dude Re- that be oh. rapping about scamming or whatever. Really? Like, rapping hella fast. Oh shit! I thought he got. I thought he went to prison. Low key. Nah. Dang. Uh, nah. That. Nah. See that one. That one was as good as the other one because that nigga could low key have got robbed. Like, what the fuck? I mean, you could chase down a crackhead easy. He had mad bread. That on was him. hella bread. And that's crazy as in fuck. In front of homeless people is crazy. If I'm if I'm one of them niggas, I'm he's getting fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He probably has the gun on him or something. I don't give a fuck. Cold. If I this is what I'm saying. If I'm homeless for real, like think about this, people. If I'm homeless, this man was flexing hundreds of thousands, of hundreds dollars. of thousands of dollars. If I'm homeless, I promise you, I'm going to. Because homeless people don't well, easily, mean I'm on drugs. They easily could have jumped him. I ain't going. That's on. what I'm saying, there bro. Was, he was there was like ten of them. Where if they all would have jumped on him, he's done. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like that's how you know they were in a, another place, bro. Because they didn't even care about the money, bro. They didn't, bro. He they probably were, gave them some money after. That's probably why. I mean, I hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> I would didn't. hope so. What do you think a crackhead would do that shit with that? Yeah, shit? They just gonna go spend on more blow crack. That shit. Are they gonna have the best? Night of their life for that one, <laughs> for that one time they get that money. Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, so I got a I got a question. So I know you you've been to a couple a lot of cities, right? Yeah. What city you think has the worst, like the craziest, like homeless people that you've seen, in your opinion? Because we're from like where we from like when we go to Newark and shit, we thought that shit was bad. Like I see a lot of crazy shit in Newark. This shit, the other shit that I seen around the world is kind of worse, bro. So which one you think is probably like the one of the crazy like tops of the top? If you could give like a top two or three. Dang, I ain't gonna <sighs> lie. Um, I don't know. There's still lots of places I haven't been. Want me? Want me to give you my list? Cause you know, like the not the Midwest area, but um, South. Like the. Sh- like the Chicago, Chicago is oh, really bad. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard Memphis, Tennessee is yeah, really bad. I heard um, that shit was pretty bad. But just by uh, Michigan, Detroit's really bad, really mm, bad. Like I be thinking we're bad. But the places I've been to, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah, bro, I've been, I've been a uh, recently new place that I've been to. Uh, in PA, that was pretty bad. Uh. What was it? Uh, like, Pittsburgh. I ain't gonna lie. Really? I've been all the way up there. That shit is that shit is far as hell. It's yeah. I said like Pittsburgh eight hours. is like nah. It was the drive was like six hours. Oh, six, yeah, six. But six. it's like right next to Ohio. Ohio's like probably like forty minutes away. But mm-hmm. yo, Pittsburgh. It's like it's like the country version of like Philly. Like oh but not, really? Not not with that. Not with the the fiends, the fiends part. But like it was like run down. Like bro. There's like, there's like blocks of just like abandoned like yeah. houses like yeah. because Pittsburgh used to be like big uh industrial place yeah so like all the industries all that industrial shit but mm-hmm. like that's not really popping right now like there's too much new technology yeah, so, so it's like, like all old rundown factories mm. and shit like that when did you go to um, Pittsburgh like recently. That was uh last summer. What'd you go to Pittsburgh for? Just for vacation? Uh <sighs> nah, my my aunt. She had a she had a nice house up there, but like around the corner and shit. Cause like, isn't Pittsburgh like uh surrounded by like mountains and shit? Like it's like Yeah, a little... that's what I'm saying. It's like hella mountainous. Like you in the mountains, it's like damn this shit nice as hell. Like 
it's so like you up high as hell. Like mm-hmm. you could like look down and you feel like you on top of the world, but like mm-hmm. it's 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 the hood. I ain't gonna lie. You know what it reminds it really me of? Is like it's run down. It's not not really popping. If it wasn't for the fucking sports teams, Steelers, I'm not gonna lie. They probably would. Wouldn't they have would not nothing be there. Like, yeah, it's not really like even Philly. Philly has colleges. They have multiple teams. They have a football and a yeah. basketball team. And it's still Pittsburgh don't got a basketball team. They got a football team. Football That's team about and baseball. It. And baseball, yeah, yeah. But and there's only Philly, like one college. Philly, they got more colleges. Like it's more more developed. And in Philly, like if you go to down when we went to downtown Philly, that shit was nice as yeah, hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's nice parts, but Pittsburgh, I ain't gonna lie. That shit is just it's really it's really country. Like it's mm-hmm. really country. Like I was up there fishing and shit. Shit was lit. But it's just <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you can't fuck around up there. Yeah. Cause I remember I've been to Pittsburgh for an AU tournament. I remember for Pure Basketball, we went over there and it reminded me of like, you know, you remember you watch the Hunger Games, right? Mm-hmm. You know how some of the there was a district that it was like just for like steel and shit? Yeah. It looked like that. That's like, what I'm saying. Everything's just run down, like a little bit dirty looking, but there's like factories everywhere. Like that's why, like Jay wants to go over there because she's a Steelers fan. So we might go over there maybe like this year and shit just to watch the Steelers game. They got game. good, they got good eats though. I yeah, I heard they got lie. some good ass sandwiches Definitely over there. Definitely got some good eats. I heard they got some good food over there. So I might go try some shit over there. But if I want to, for me, for the places that I've been to, what that probably got the, like, I want to say, I'm not going to say worse because, you know, like homeless people is homeless. They're not bad people. But I just say, like, where it's just, like, you know, not where I'm used to. L.A. Yeah, L.A. was shit, bad. That shit was crazy. We, I seen someone OD in the middle of the road. Remember that shit? When we was downtown L.A., we went to the mall. Somebody was ODing in the middle of the road off of, like, some shit. And he had he looked like a normal dude. He had, like, fucking Yeezys on and shit. Yeah, he was in a regular fit. Regular ass fit. And he was ODing. I'm like, okay, that's kind of wild. It was, it's um L.A., Philly's bad. Philly was will always be one bro, of the in worst. L.A., bro, when we were playing basketball, I went to go use the bathroom because they had the public bathrooms, but their public bathrooms, it's like, Open. that shit was really public. Like, it was just <laughs> a door and you just go use the bathroom mm-hmm. yeah. and shit, bro. A dude walked in there. Yeah, you did tell me about like, that. was like, bro, you got that shit, bro. I'm like, <laughs> Nah, bro, you gotta get out of here. You wow, like, <laughs> and you just pissed and just ran off. But I was dead scared. I'm like, bro, if this, I gotta fight this fiend, if he scratch me or bite me, I'm going to the hospital. That's bro. what I'm saying. I remember you like, told about, me that he about shit. to infect me, bro. Like I'm not playing that. Oh like, my gosh, dude. but yeah, no, nah, LA is LA they bold is, as fuck. Yeah, out they're there crazy. Too. Like they, they are. But it's like you know, homeless people. There's a difference between homeless people and fiends. Yeah, just to get y'all people because I know some of y'all people may not like live. In the areas that we live in, there's a difference between homeless people and fiends. You could be homeless and be perfectly fine, but if you home if you homeless and on drugs, now you just now you just fuck two ways. Double double. You fuck double physically whammy. and mentally. Double whammy. But like yeah. I've seen people like homeless that just like you know they probably they probably work normal jobs, but they just don't got nowhere to live and shit. That's what that, that's what probably niggas in LA do. Like you know they have like nomads and shit. Yeah. Like a lot of people that live off the land, they just. You know they're hippies. They just live in tents and they don't. They don't give a fuck. But like they're, those are the cool ones. I'm talking about. We're talking about the fiends. But I think one of the last ones. I'm. A, I'm gonna pick one outside the country. Um. Okay, I remember. The Philippines. It wasn't. Oh yeah. It's them, not bad. Them, them. Them other countries is 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 way. It's worse, no joke. Way worse than us. It's not like them. it's not like they're crazy, but it's like it's where I looked at them. Like I felt bad. Like I remember I was, we was driving in the city. And you know how the Philippines is not like China where everything's like close to each other, like like tight knit. Yeah. But it's like damn near. Like it's like, you know, you ever seen um fuck, I forgot in rush hour where they go to like the little places in China, like the the houses are like really like right next to each yep. other and like built at like scrap metal. That's where my mom used to live. And I remember we was driving through it through there and I remember I looked in between two buildings. It was like an alleyway and I seen a little kid sleeping on a mattress. And he, I'm like, damn. And he was my age. I'm like, and at the time I was like eight. So I'm like, dang. And I never like really seen some shit like that. I only seen it in movies, but seeing it in real life, I, re- I felt yeah, real that bad. That shit's different. Like, I'm like, damn, like these niggas really got, like he he was like by himself. He didn't have no family, nothing like that, just sleeping. I'm just like, dang, bro. Like there's really like another world like outside of ours, bro, where niggas really just got. Every really day f- they got to just find a way, to survive. bro. survive, yeah. And it's crazy work. But, and I have another question. I remember you was talking about, um. With the gas prices and shit, I was because I was talking about but when uh, before you got here, me and my parents were talking. They were saying like back in the days, like you know everything was mad cheap, like everything was like 
I remember he said my dad used to work as like a you know paper route guy. He used to get the paper. Yeah. He said at the end of each week he would get he would work every day from three to six. He'll get paid two dollars and twenty five cents. That shit is crazy work. Hearing that now is insane. Two twenty five. So now I'm thinking, imagine how much niggas is gonna get paid or how much inflation is gonna rise. Everything when we get to like forty fifty. I'm thinking right. What's ever twenty dollars now is gonna be like. Fifty dollars. Yeah, twenty dollars is gonna be like fifty dollars. Yeah, Fit, like imagine that shit. Like gas is gonna be like nine, ten. That's sick. But that's, like that's gonna be taxed. It's probably gonna be a lot of electric, way cars, more though. electric cars though. Mm-hmm. Especially, I feel like Elon Musk is like. That's why I think he's doing a good job. I think he's preparing for that because I think he knows inflation's real, and he knows like oil is going down. So he's like, he, instead of like paying for these prices, just buy this electrical car and shit, which is pretty smart. But then I feel like. Like, even food is just going to go up. Like, I remember he said, like, uh, Coke was, like, 25 cents. Like, that shit's, like, a can of Coke is, what, $1.25? Yeah, that that, shit went up. That shit going to be, like, $4, bro. I'm not ready for that shit, bro, but, hey, man, hopefully we get money. Hopefully. Got to make that money, man. Literally. Got to keep making that money. Just make as much money as possible. But uh, I want to talk about one more thing with the P. Diddy shit, because I remember... Before we before we talk about something else, there was another thing that I seen about P Diddy that was actually kind of wild. So, remember how you know how P Diddy's been linked to a lot of murders throughout the industry? Yeah. P Diddy, they said P Diddy killed Tupac, which he did. I'm not gonna lie. I've I've seen a video. They said that P Diddy paid somebody to kill Tupac, and the only reason why he didn't get caught is because when he gave him the money, he had some guy get some guy to pay to he get he paid somebody. To get somebody to pay to kill Tupac, mm. but the guy that he paid was supposed to split the money with that guy who killed Tupac. He never did. They said if he would have split the thing with Tupac, or if he would have split the guy that P Diddy gave the money to, if he would have split that with the guy, he would have got caught because yeah. the check has his name on it. It was like a million dollars. So they said P Diddy killed Tupac. They said he killed Biggie because Biggie was trying to leave the record label. He killed Biggie. But I've seen recently that. Like, P. Diddy's whole thing has been linked to Michael Jackson. Mm. Now, this is wild. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know. But it's a lot of... It makes a lot of sense, right? So, you know... So, everybody knows Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson died in 2009, right? So, the one connection that they have between P. Diddy and Michael Jackson is their head of security. They both have the same head of security. So, the head of security of Michael Jackson... His name was Fahim. And he's the head of security now for P. Diddy. So... What P. Diddy says about Fahim is, like, if you have a problem with the law, you call up Fahim, and it's going to be good. Like, everything's going to be called, um, everything's going to be taken care of because he's just known in, like, the police police world and, like, in, like, the higher-ups and shit mm-hmm. like that. Like, he's known. But it's weird, like, how people know him. So, I remember there was a, I think, I don't know if you remember, there was an incident where P. Diddy and his son, I forgot his name, the the light-skinned one. Uh-huh. They was in a studio, and they got caught, they, um, I guess they left the studio, but somebody got shot. And supposedly Diddy shot the guy. I don't know if he died or not anything, but they called the Fahim. And Fahim came on the scene, talked to and no cops was ever called. Just their emergency. The guy was rushed to the hospital. That's this, that, and third. No investigation went down because Fahim um handled it. So now we go back in time. We look at Michael Jackson. And two before before he passed away, Michael Jackson was getting some heat from everybody in the industry because they thought he he wasn't doing what they wanted him to do because mm-hmm. you know he owned like fifty percent of Sony and he shit did like that. Own hell of nigga shit. He was about to wasn't he about to own like fucking Disney cha- Disney or some shit? Like he was doing mad shit that yeah, people he didn't own like. like the Beatles shit too. Mm-hmm. He owned mad people stuff. Exactly. So a lot of people didn't like that. He was starting to get more power. So even Michael Jackson said that people was out to kill him. So now we go to Fahim, right? Michael Jackson dies in two thousand nine to overdose. So the head of security was Fahim. He was the second person to see Michael Jackson before his kids. The first person was the doctor to try to revive him, and then it was Fahim. He came in afterwards. One year before Michael Jackson died, Fahim just graduated from college from the University of uh, from Sacramento State University with a bachelor's in uh, marketing and real estate. So that's like weird. They're like, how did this guy who just graduated college literally last year becomes the head of security for the most famous person in the world? So now they're looking at it as like, okay, that's mad, weird, and fishy. So what people think are thinking is like, what if, since P. Diddy is like known to have connections that goes beyond the industry, goes into like the political realms, 
what if they had like Fahim as a person to maybe you know maybe drug Michael Jackson mm. to kill him? I don't know if that's like to the extent, but that's where the connection is starting to get to. And I don't know if they're gonna expose a lot more throughout the times whenever they're gonna be uh, building up the case and shit. But just imagine, bro. Cause I feel like P Diddy killed a lot of niggas, bro. Yeah, no, nah, they they saying uh, he 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 sent a lot of things out. I ain't going lie. Freak, I even I already killed. That's his, crazy. I already killed his ex girlfriend. Yeah. What's her What's her name? Uh, Kim Porter. Yeah. Freaking King Combs mom. Like you heard about that shit, bro? Did hear about that? Yep. He said something like, I guess like they was dating like in the early two thousands, and then they broke up, and then she started dating this producer, and then. When P. Diddy found out about that, I think P. Diddy was going out with somebody else, but P. Diddy didn't like that, so he fought the nigga. And then, but he still ended up, he still was dating Kim Porter at the time, but then supposedly Kim Porter told him stuff about Diddy that she found out, like some crazy shit that nobody knows. And then Diddy found out, or I don't know if Diddy found out, but then mysteriously that guy ended up dying. Like Mm. they say he killed himself. Yeah. So they were like, okay, that's kind of weird. And the whole, I guess during that time, Kim Porter was like creating a book, like writing a book about yep. P. Diddy. Yep. And that's when they got back together and they had the twins, but then they broke up again. And when they broke up, I think she died of pneumonia. Yep. But every, she was sick. But everybody was wondering like how you die of, like she was fit and she had, she was really healthy and stuff like that. How you, how she died of pneumonia. Cr- I was really talking about all this at work. Really? Dude, niggas were saying that too. Yep. It's weird, bro. Yeah. And it's like. She got sick out of nowhere. She got sick out of nowhere. And the the kicker here, because you know you could die of pneumonia, like pneumonia is deadly, but yeah. if you're rich, like you could probably find some shit. But anyways, the kicker is that the they couldn't find. She had three laptops that had like you know her pages of the book in it. All three laptops went missing mm. and disappeared. There was no trace of them being stolen. There's nothing. They just like vanished. So nobody knows what happened to them. So maybe Diddy really was like, you know what? You talk. You trying to expose me? All right, you die. And that's some sick shit, bro. Like this man is really living like some, some fucking. What's that nigga from Power? <coughs> Go nah. <laughs> what's that nigga name? Ghost. Living like that, bro. Like I, ain't, uh, bro. I think there's way more that's gonna come out in the next coming weeks about this guy. No, but this, he's been on a he's been on a run, bro. He's not even on a run no more, bro. He's just chilling right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. That niggas took his crib. He's like, man, I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me further. I, I arrested. He's like, he probably, he probably did that shit himself, bro. That's a, it's a crazy world we live in, bro. That's crazy work, man. I hope if he does get caught and more shit come to light, I hope this becomes a movie or a TV show. That would be a crazy documentary. Or That'd be fire. Shit. Surviving Diddy. <laughs> shit, bro. No Diddy. No. <laughs> All right, I gotta. Mm, uh, oh, I got a question to ask you. Yeah. So we can let me let's transition over to something else. So, um, I watched um, I actually watched the King Kong versus Godzilla movie yesterday. Did you watch that movie yet? No, nah, it's new. Yeah, that new shit. It's actually not that bad. It was pretty. I good. heard it was good. It was. I ain't gonna lie. It was just kind of. It was getting me dizzy because you know they're in they're in Hollow Earth, so shit's like. There's like mountains on the top and then on the bottom. So they was flipping around a lot. That shit was oh, fucking my head up. She was like trippy type Yeah, it was shit. some trippy shit. But it was pretty cool though. It was a pretty good movie. I give like eight and a half out of ten. It wasn't too bad. But I know there's a lot of good movies coming out. But I have a question. Even I heard there's another movie. It was called like The New Omen or whatever. It was like some scary movie about like a priest or something. It was like some exorcist shit. I think you probably like that. Cause I know you like horror movies and shit. Yeah, no, but, I haven't seen that. But I have a question. So What's one movie, if the director would have came out and said, like, this was based on a true story, you would look at it and be like, oh, no, nah, that's some wild shit. And it would, like, change, like, your view of, like, the world. I have a list of movies. I want you to know if, like, it would really be like, damn, that shit will actually be type crazy. So <clears throat> here's my list. This is what I think. If these movies would ever came out and it's like, niggas going to be like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, if this shit was real. Mm-hmm. Get out. Get yeah, out, like. Wait, so wait, what, what if that so if Get Out was based on a true story? Oh, if Get Out was based on a true story. Like if story. the director came out and said like, yeah, like this was secretly this really happened in real life, but he, nobody knew about it. That would be I'm not gonna lie. If that Get is Out a good one, yeah. That would be that's, fucking crazy. That's that's that that was that was some crazy shit. That was some trippy movie. That was um Bro, the nigga was he got taken he got taken advantage by a white woman. And was about to get his mind switched with a, a old, an elderly white man because he's strong and black. 
Damn. That's crazy fucking. That's crazy work because you got because I the that's gonna I'm not gonna lie that would shock the world because you know why if that shit really happens, you know how many of these athletes date white women. That's fucking th- th- yo. White people will never be trusted again. Yeah. Kim Kardashian, you're done. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm going for y'all first. I'm blaming them first because they have a track record that of curse. That curse. They got that a track curse. record, bro. So <laughs> if this was ever real, that would really the the black community's fucked. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, the black woman, they're gonna be up. They're gonna be like, I told you so. Don't mess with no white woman. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> but another one, if it was real, lights out. Lights out. You remember Wait, what, that movie? What was that shit? The one where if you turn the lights off, a demon comes out. Nah. If, that, was, that was some good movie. That was a great movie. That shit was scary as shit. If that was real, I would not... Bro, I'm already scared of the dark. I would never turn off the light ever again. I would not walk... I already think... Like, I'd be walking into my crib late at night, it'd be dark. I'd be thinking somebody's just... Something's just stand, staring at me. So imagine that shit is real. And like, if you turn the light off, some demon's gonna come get you. Yeah, nah, I'm... The world is done. I ain't gonna lie. There's no way you could come back from that shit. That would be OD. Fucking, um, another one I have, Human Centipede. Oh, yeah, that's sickening. You Did you ever watch Human Centipede? I never <laughs> watched the whole thing. You just watch clips of it? Did you? Because I know you and Jordan used to watch that Walrus movie. That fucking sick shit. That was some sick shit. I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, if Human Centipede was a set, were to say it was based on a, a true story... I wouldn't have been surprised. But that's the thing, though. A lot of these movies, I'd be like, dang, that shit probably could have really happened. No, nah, nah, I got a good movie. What movie? Um, bro, I feel like I feel like it's exactly what could happen. Um, You've seen that. Uh, <clears throat> it's a not old movie. It's called District 9. Wait, 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 wait. That's Time that out. shit with the fucking them aliens. Wait, you talking about with the little? Wait, no, no, that's not the. No, that's number nine. I'm no, thinking about it's number nine. District shit ni- was District nine. What's that about? It was about them shits with like them alien robots, but like, let me see. But like they lived like, they lived like, in the trenches though, like on some like, oh, like this, on some people shit. Oh, but there was like a there was like an alien race or some shit. Yeah, but like they were like. They they were like lived in the hood like District Nine was like the hood of the aliens and like just like how society today don't fuck with people that live in the hood, in the hood like that it oh, was just like that low key that would be like, some that's what crazy I'm saying shit. we got we got so many we got so many robots you know eventually there's there's gonna be robots that get sent to the get to the scrapyard and to shit the scrapyard that that be broken. And, mm-hmm. That's kind of crazy. What if they? What if they rebel, bro? Mm. And that's that's low key what almost what happened in that movie. Like some some human dude ended up like going to their shit and like living in their shit and seeing and seeing what they go through. Wow, I didn't know this what this movie was about. I should have watched this shit. That shit looked kind of tough. That's kind of crazy. Like imagine, nah, that shit was like a true story at one point. That'd be kind of wild. Cause like you ever watch that movie um on Netflix with Will Smith? With the um, it's called Bright. Oh yeah, with them alien people. Yeah, there's like similar like to this, this shit. Yup. They had niggas. They had like the there was like aliens or like it was like um. They were racist to them. They were, they racist. were racist to them fucking aliens. There was like they were like ogres or whatever. Yup. And they lived in the hood. And <laughs> that shit was actually kind of wild. But that would be wild, bro. That shit was a real thing. Oh, or, I got another W. This is a good. This is a good fucking topic. Which one? You seen that movie, uh, Snowpiercer? Yeah. Imagine if that shit was real. Nah, oh nah. Nah. Like the oh whole my. the whole world living on a train, bro. Nah. And cause the cause the whole world is frozen, frozen over. No way. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't be able to live in that shit. No way. You I see with them. With the them niggas in the back, they yeah, used because to eat fucking blocks that were made out of like garbage and bugs. Bro. Exactly, and like it was like Jello. It was like um, like the people in the front were the rich ones, right? Yo, they they had swimming pools, everything. They had they had a uh, freaking the ocean mm-hmm. in in one of the tanks. Like they had everything, like. And then all the way in the, the back, front of the train. that's that was kind of wild. In the back of the in the back of the train, that's where the the poor niggas be at. That's wild, crazy. That's that, that's crazy. That's... And you remember that one scene when the guy he like disobeyed the guards and he stuck his hand out the thing and it froze. Bro, that's Damn. that's diabolical. Bro, they had they had little kids 
operating the train. That's, yeah. That's what operated mm-hmm. the engine. Because mm-hmm. they were so small enough they could crawl to through get the in shit. through the shits. Mm-mm. If that was crazy real life. Crazy movie. Crazy movie. Hell no. Another one I got. If if they would have said that this was a real, like this happened, is Nightmare on Elm Street. That would be crazy. I'm not going to lie. That Because not in the sense of where, like, Freddy Krueger or something like that, but just imagine there was a case where somebody, well, technically that th- this did happen. I told you about this before. Yeah. This does, like just imagine like you go to like somebody People went die to sleep. and they sleep is crazy. Exactly like that. Just imagine like every time you go to sleep, you have to fight off something. That's fucking wild. I would never be able to live that way. Another one, Saw. Yeah, no, Saw is crazy. Saw is bad. Like imagine there's just serial killers out there just kidnapping people and then making them do these crazy ass challenges. But honestly, that would, that might make the world a better place. <laughs> if you want to think about it because if you want to uh, kidnap the right people exactly because you got <laughs> you got to think about it because he only went after bad people he wasn't really a bad guy like he only went after like corrupt cops or like evil people like people that did bad things which is okay like that'll, that'll force me to make sure I don't like what do about no- squid games I feel like squid games low key real no 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 they, they probably do do that shit yes, low key yes. squid games hell yeah what squid games you know how many people bro. go missing every year bro no, bro, they probably kidnapped some of these kid people. Oh, another one I got. Black Mirror. Nah, 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 nah. Black now we're getting... <laughs> Wait, which Black Mirror, though? Bro, the whole thing, bro. Nah, fuck the that. Whole... Fuck that. I would not want that shit to be real. Black None Mirror of... beat. They had some crazy stories of yes. Black Mirror, bro. Yes, they did. I don't want they that shit to happen. some crazy scenarios, bro. That shit like, where... I could already, I, I already feel like... like uh, that one with the video game, I feel like that shit could happen now. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, where you feel like you're in the game and shit? Yeah, or I just feel like, because with all that VR, all that shit, like, on your eyes for so long, like, that shit could ease... Already, if you have epilepsy, you can't use that shit. But oh, I feel yeah, like yeah, that yeah. shit could, like, trigger it more, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could just mess up your brain. Mm-hmm. Like, That'd be terrible. Too much of that VR shit, I ain't gonna lie, nah. Especially, you know what I mean? Kids are probably like addicted to that shit that we don't know about. Yeah, bro. Like when, that, when that Oculus day. first came out, bro. Mm-hmm. It's going to get worse. After the, the Apple Vision Pros came out, yeah, oh my God. Apple Vision is crazy. Once that shit gets like a little bit affordable, people get it. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take like two years for it to get normal. Like, you know, they're going to When they come out with a new one, that shit going to go drop down. Watch. This, this, this winter for Christmas, so many kids are going to get that. They're going to drop the price down on Black Friday. Oh my God. If they do like 50% off, yo. It's, yo, you know how you feel buying it? They buy that shit like, easy. Because it's like 3000 something. That's like a phone. If they get it for 1500 oh, it's up. Exactly. That's they, literally just buying a phone. Like You don't yeah, even need your phone The for phone it. is like $1,000 now. 1000 something. Exactly. But I was thinking of the Black Mirror episode. Remember that episode where the girl, she was like in a time loop every day? Like she was, she was like, she woke up and like there was people, there was somebody trying to kill her. But then she would ask for help and all the people would do is just hold up their phones and like record it. And then she'll get to like the house and then... They'll get. She'll get to like this part, and she'll. She sat in the chair, and then the the blinds went up. They was like, "Oh look, she's just in a. She just re- when you finally realize you're just in a time loop because I think her and her boyfriend killed somebody, like did a crime, and now her punishment was like she gets to relive this the day over and over again. Imagine somebody is reliving the same day over and over again. It's like a terrible day. Like she was literally getting chased, trying to get murdered, and like, everybody's just following her with the phone and shit like that. Imagine I'm about to rewatch Black Mirror. I know, isn't, there, isn't there new episodes too? I heard yeah. there's new episodes. I might yeah. I might start watching that shit too because I need some more things to watch. I actually got watch Invincible today. It's Thursday. That shit, shit. came out today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, I'll be watching that shit with my brother and dad. I they just they just put me on to that shit. You like it? Yeah, shit's crazy. Bro, it's some heat, bro. It's some yeah. heat. And then the one another Black Mirror episode I hope didn't happen. It might it might have happened though in like a small ass country. The shit with the pig. What was that one? You know, you remember that one. The nigga where it was like a prime minister and they kidnapped his daughter. They was like, you either get your daughter back. You have to, in order to get your daughter back, you have to have sex with a pig on live TV. Yo. That shit was crazy. Yo. Yo they, they finessed him. The, her, his daughter was literally just walking around the around the city for nah, the whole there, day. There were so many. That's why Black Mirror is so goaded. People don't understand. There was some weird. There weird. was some weird. Yo, do you remember the one? With the video game, the dude. Which one? Which I think video? it was two dudes. Yes, that's the yeah, yo, yeah, 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 yo, yeah, yeah. They went in the video game. That's what I thought you was talking about before. <laughs> that's what I thought you was talking about before. That shit was crazy. 
I ain't gonna lie. Nah, they were sick. Yo, Black Mirror has some sick episodes. And they had that one, too, where... Uh, that's what I'm saying. I feel like half of the Black Mirror is real. Or they based that, on something real. They had that one with the eyeballs, like... Your eyeballs record mm-hmm. every everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The dude found out his girlfriend was sleeping with somebody else. He was crashing out. Uh-huh. He was crashing out. That's what I'm saying. Bro, that's like the fucking neural link in niggas' heads, Yo, bro. You seen you seen the um Elon Musk say he got one person. The dude was playing the dude was playing chess on like a computer without even touching it, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, but freaking like the whole shit with the neural link. Like, how long has it been? It's been. I think he put in the, the neural link. Cause you really can't tell me like he he can't control him though. Like he can't just hit like an off That's switch. That's what I'm saying, bro. Just go like. What if he's like, doing that shit right? Cause that shit's in his head. Like it's not like he could take it out. Like you know what's also crazy that was now you think about. It, I forgot. I, this is a crazy thing. Crazy story I heard about the whole neural link thing, bro. Mm. So you know, you know, Elon Musk wasn't the first person to invent the neural link. I heard it was a rumor, but I ain't know who. Bro, it was a it was an MIT student that created uh it wasn't a neur- it wasn't specific a Neuralink, but it was like similar. So it was like imagine a Neuralink that you could take off. So it was basically right. It was, it's the same thing well, as that's a, cheese. That's what I'm saying. That's cheese. So what he would do is it will, it will connect to his ear and like on his chin, and he could send signals to like it, could, it hooks up to the internet and he could seg- send signals with his mind to the internet and it will come back to him and like frequency so like i remember he did an interview and the guy asked him he was like what's the population of like bolivia and he sent the message to freaking the computer and it came back and he was like uh 45 million people and then he was like okay well what percentage of that is um native american descent and he was like okay he went like this came back uh 12 percent i'm just like nah that's crazy like he had a search engine in his head and he could take it off so, but this was like, I think in 2018, like it was like five, five, six years ago, but they haven't seen him since. Like, they don't know where he went. Like he just like disappeared him and his invention. And then ever since he disappeared, um, that's when Elon Musk came out with the Neuralink and he had a patent for it. So now it's his and nobody copyrighted that shit, bro. I think, bro, what if they off that nigga, bro? They took it. They took his idea because you know how many people had the idea stolen and yeah, the, so many people. So they imagine. say, what's his name, created the the light bulb. They said it's not really because. They said it was. They said it was a black man? Yeah, it's a black man, low key. It's crazy, bro. It was a, it was an Indian guy. Maybe Elon Musk was like, you know, he paid somebody, you know, take this guy out for me. Because, you know, Yeah, I think about it, too. That's that's <laughs> way easier. That's less control with the, with the, with the shit. It's not inside of you. Exactly. You, you can take it off. Yeah, so, like. Yeah, maybe when you got it on you, somebody could low key probably control you. Yeah, but but as soon as you take it off, you're like good to go. you can't take something out of your brain. You take something out of your brain, you're gonna die probably. Exactly. Or, or you're gonna lose Blood. something, or you're gonna be like lose part of your brain. You're slow be lose. or something. That's what I'm saying. Gonna lie. Like I feel like you ever you remember I'm um, in a uh, Suicide Squad where uh, what's her face had that shit implanted in people's brains and like she could really kill them oh, on the spot. It was like a it was like a suicide thing. Yeah. Right? Like she could press the button and everybody was cooked, right? Yeah. yeah. So imagine Elon Musk could do that with this guy, bro. And all these people, like all these famous people saying, like, yeah, I'll get one in my head. I'm like, it's I'm low key like Siri in your brain. Mm-hmm. Like low key that's low key what the thing was on it was like Siri, but Yeah. It's connected to your mind. Which is sick, bro. I don't like I don't like where we're going with this. It reminds me of like when freaking Plankton was taking over the fucking bikini bottom, and he had the shit on people's heads. That's what it's starting to look like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's getting a little crazy. But uh, the the last movie I was talking about that I thought was like, if this shit came out to be real, I'll be scared as fuck, would be Wrong Turn. You ever watch Wrong Turn? Yeah. That would be crazy. Because me, you, Jordan, we like, we like hiking and shit. So imagine we hiked we up. We do be doing a lot of adventures and stuff. Imagine we hiked up the wrong way, and a fucking we run into a whole civilization that eat people. That's fucking wild, yeah, bro. That's 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 really my big biggest fear. That's that's just my big fear anywhere I'm I'm traveling that I don't You don't know about? I don't know. Especially mm-hmm. that's why I, yeah, I want to go to all these foreign countries, but I want to know everything that I'm doing because easily, easily you could turn down the wrong fucking street. Oh and yeah. You're cooked. Like tourists, in Mexico? Tourists, oh man, they gonna rob you, hold you for ransom, do anything. That's like, why I used to be scared because anything. I remember like when we went to the like when I went to the Philippines when I was younger when I was telling you about, we my uncle he owns Bugging out hire <coughs> I know money is probably, you know Oh, it's cheaper. Better over there. over there, yeah. I would hire a low key like 
a bodyguard or some yeah, my, some shit for my uncle ran a security security bin like a big security yeah, that's, bin. That's... We had four people around at all times with Uzis, bro. Every time I went to the bathroom because they see me and you you know my dad's tall and my mom's Asian. They think he probably played in the NBA. So if they take me. <laughs> They gonna put me for ransom. Like yep. I want a million dollars. Nigga, we don't got that bread. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm cooked. So yeah. like they used to follow me all the way. Every time like we used to go to like I went to the bathrooms and shit. They used to follow me. I remember we used to live in. Uh, we stayed in the farmlands and shit. So like they used to stay like they used bro, to perimeters, bro. Literally that there was. That's what I'm saying. All these movies that I be watching. I like to like. I like to watch movies. Of course, I like to watch fake movies, but I like to. To watch movies that's based on real stories. Yeah. But yeah, the last movie I watched, it was last year, not two years ago. It was the movie was called Pilot or whatever. Mm-hmm. When them niggas they crash land they they left from the Philippines or some one of those yeah. Thailand or something. They left, bro, they didn't even make it an hour out of the area. They had to crash land somewhere in the trenches where the mm-hmm. uh the rebels be yeah. at. Bro, they got Picked up immediately, like you know that's in the Philippines, right? Yeah, that's, that's why one I'm, of the islands. That's that's why I'm saying, like, it's, crazy it's real work. serious, like, like law enforcement. That's what I'm saying. We, as much as niggas do hate the police over here, yeah. like, do gotta be grateful. Other other countries they don't don't, got, don't got police at all. Like, it's really you or really, the streets. Like, that's you, what I'm saying. You, you really gotta surviving. protect yourself. Like, like it's. it's all or nothing. Like, it's mm-hmm. the police is not gonna come save you. Like, they're gonna come. After like millions of tries, but even after then, they they Especially don't. There's only so much they could do. Yeah, if you're not pointing, you know they gonna try, bro. It's like I remember, like like where that movie happened. Like it, it was in the Philippines, like because like in the Philippines, there's like thousands of islands, bro. There's so many. There's yeah. so many islands, big ones, small ones, and so if you could you could go. Like I remember when we went to the Philippines, we went to the Thousand Islands, but there was like a there's like certain islands where people go for like tourism. But say we went to the wrong island, bro. Nigga, we we was in little bamboo boats. Like we don't got no. It's not like really big boats, like a fucking like a like a ship. That shit's like little. It's like the size of like maybe, uh, it's like two people sit here, two people sit here. That's how big. That's how big it. How wide it is. You can't even like stand up. Like, yeah, imagine I ain't going lie. If I went to, if I, I do plan on going to some foreign countries eventually mm-hmm. when I get some money, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If, if I ever go somewhere really far, because that's the only thing, yeah. Them crazy places, they do got good food though in the, oh, yeah. in the, in the, in the trenches. That's the only Hell thing. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna get some protection or I'm, I'm gonna buy something. I'm gonna buy a freaking bodyguard or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something out there, mm-hmm. like a, a weapon, but mm-hmm. for the time being. And then once I leave, I'm gonna just get rid of that shit. You just, or, this, I just gotta, just can't be moving flashy. Yeah, and you stuff. can't be like, moving like now. Like you don't know nothing. Like you have to you, know where you're, you're going. Rich, like you yeah, can't yeah. be flexing. Like they're gonna get you, you know, out of here. Tipping everybody twenty dollars when yeah. twenty dollars is like two thousand dollars or some yeah. shit. Like then they yeah. gonna assume you some some hot shit. Exactly. Like, like even I remember. Like we're going, me and my family, we're going to Mexico this summer. Mm. And I was telling my mom, like, what part of, I always tell her, like, what part of Mexico are we going to? Because I'm not trying to get kidnapped. Because you see me, you see, you see dad. They're going to get me. They're not going for, yeah, they go going to get me and Libby and we're going to get the, we're going to get packed up. Bro, remember that? <sighs> there was an incident, wasn't it? Some, the dude from California. Oh, the college, college kids. college student, bro. Crazy. The, there crazy was like. Word. They 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 went to Mexico thinking it was like an internship and it was really the cartel. That's what I'm saying. The cartel, there's no. They don't care, bro. They don't care. Babies, moms, kids, safe, bro. Adults, nobody. I ain't gonna lie, nobody's safe. They're nobody's really nobody's safe. Like, and it's like, that's like what if you mess with they shit, they don't care who the fuck you are. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like if you like when you want to go when you go out to the country and stuff. It'll be the only thing that you should do outside of the well, your staying, resort. I'm staying on a resort unless I do some excursions. excursions. That's yeah, the only like, thing. Even that could be a little sketchy depending on where you go. Definitely. You got to watch everything all the time. Yeah. Other than that, <coughs> just stay in the resorts and people shit. People just got to be people just got to be um <laughs> cautious. cautious nowadays. That's the thing. People think everybody think they invincible. Everybody think, you know, the, the law is going to protect me. Something they think they're always protected. Like, no, no, nah, you're not always protected. Like people see what you have and what you don't have. And 
Mm-hmm. They prey on they prey on the people that don't have stuff. They prey on everything you have. Like, they wait for you to pull up. I'm not gonna lie. Even if you look like, like even if you spend a little more money than usual, like people are gonna assume you something. Like mm-hmm. you can't. There's only so much you could do, but you just gotta. You can't be a bobblehead in this world, like especially. If you're outside the country and you ask for like you call for the cop, they're not gonna do shit. Even America, they're not gonna do nothing if you're not that important for real. You're gonna be honest. Like there'd be people that get kidnapped in like all these countries. Like I for, I forgot there was a I seen a movie. I don't know if it was um Mexico or like or like Costa Imagine Rica. Imagine getting shit. kidnapped in another country. Yeah, do you already know how hard it is to catch there's sex traffickers in every state, mm-hmm. everything going on every minute. Like, you know how many people go missing all the time and how hard it is? I mean it's it's kind of easier now because you know they got Amber Alerts and all this shit that alerts people when somebody goes missing. They don't got that shit in other countries though. What? <laughs> Nigga, you added it. Or you tell the police they probably gonna write it down on a piece of paper and put it in a pile with all the mother niggas that's missing. And exactly. Like it's a like it's crazy how many people how easy it is to go <laughs> to get lost, bro. Either get lost or get freaking picked just up. Just get done me. up in this world. Like mm-hmm. it's not it's not what y'all think it is, bro. So right now, be safe out there, people. If you, be if, safe. If you watching or listen to us on Apple Music, you know, subscribe all that stuff. Give us a give us a rating or whatever, five stars. You just gotta be safe. You know what I'm saying? We we're not the we're not the people that travel along the world, but we know like we know, bro. What been, the bad been, spots look we've like? Been to, we've been to places already. You know, mm-hmm. we've been to enough to where if we you look see, at it. That's what I'm saying. People don't people don't believe stuff. I'm I'm one of those people, but uh-huh. but. I look stuff up. Like if I don't believe it, if I don't believe in something, I'll look it up and I find information. Mm-hmm. And I like to do. I, I do like to see stuff too. So I'm definitely one of those people. But I don't need like something critical to happen to me to to understand the full concept. Like exactly. That's I already like- know I'm not going somewhere I'm not supposed to go to mm-hmm. unless I'm valid or I know somebody over there. Like I'm not just gonna be walking into fucking BS. Any just random territory, feel me? That's what I'm saying. It's like people be thinking it's at the end of the day, it's like, you know, people like wandering into things like they think it's fun when they wander into shit. It's like, oh, no, I just want to be surprised. Now nah, you'll be surprised when you get fucking kidnapped. Like I'm saying like niggas, like all these people like, nah, like, I just bro. Speaking of that, like, it's crazy work, bro. That fucking dude, that YouTuber, bro, that. What? Oh yeah! See now, that's crazy work, bro. I don't know if y'all people know. There's a YouTuber that, that went to Haiti. It's crazy though. I I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know him. I didn't know him until until he got kidnapped. But I went and seen who this nigga was. Yo, he really is known for doing that. Like he was mm-hmm. in. I watched his videos. He was in all these different hoods around the world. Yes. I'm like, yo, niggas be bugging. Like, he yeah. was in Brazil. He was in mad other places. I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, you just heard what's happening. Like, did you watch the stream when Cuz was in Haiti? I didn't watch it. Bro, he was in he was in a fucking hotel. He was the only fucking person in that hotel. Because like, what, everybody got raided bro, or some shit? Bro, everybody's like, they're only in, like, certain parts of Haiti. Like, everybody's like... Together in like certain areas because mm-hmm. the the fucking Revolution. that nigga is the gang nigga. He took over. He's he's has everybody like controlled in one certain area and shit. So like most of the island, like certain places are evacuated. Like mm. bro, he was he had this hotel to himself. The nigga was flexing all this shit. He was like, yeah. I'm up in this. He was like in the mountains. You see him in like this hotel. It's just niggas around, like people that work in the hotel. Mm-hmm. It's just the workers, and he was the only person in the whole hotel. And then, like, a day, I don't know if it was how long later, a day, two days later, that nigga was, he's hes kidnapped now. Now he's holding for, he's holding, the dude is holding him for ransom. That's But it's like, don't you, re- don't you, like, notice that? Like, don't you think that's a little weird? Especially, he know, like, that, like the, the revolution didn't just start, like, two days ago. Like, it's been going on Bro, for, like, I don't a minute. Know. That's what I'm saying. People just be doing anything for clout and they don't be they don't be realizing how serious the situation is until that shit, shit happened like like what made you go like what made you go there like there's people that can't eat the people can't even leave the fucking country right now like niggas there is, is having a hard time leaving cause mm-hmm. 
the freaking gang dude took over. Like, he's literally in charge. Like, the prime minister stepped down. Like, he stepped down quick, it, too. Is basically like overrun. And, bro, they asked, bro, they holding him for ransom. I heard they ain't even asked for that much. Bro asked for like 600K. I ain't gonna lie. That's how you know they really, like, Need some they bread. really down terrible. Like, mm-hmm. bro asked for 600K. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's. That's, I mean, to the average person, yeah, but, like, to the bro, government? Um, they could fish that out, like, fucking candy, <laughs> like, exactly. like, 600K, like, that's how you know Haiti is just really in, really in shambles. I don't bro. even like, think it's gonna get need, better. Like, in the U.S., you know, we already don't really fuck with them like that, so, like, they don't really got no help right now. It's, mm-hmm. it's sad, It's crazy, bro. yeah. It's crazy, and it's like, it's like, so... You know what that remind me of? I don't know if you ever watched that movie with that family where they were in like Thailand or whatever, and it was during like a civil war, and they was in the hotels. It was like it was it was a guy. I don't know. You ever you ever watched Marley and Me? You remember that guy Marley and Me? It was him, and it was his wife, and he had two daughters. Do you remember mm. that movie? I forgot what that was. what was that movie called. It was like they were literally being chased by like the the Vietnamese like. Like they, the gang, the like, gangs and shit, like the, like, the rebels over yeah, there. Yeah, they were like killing all the Americans because I guess the he worked for a company that was like messing up their country, uh. and they, he was trying to they was trying to kill all the Americans and like they had to flee and like find a way to the border. Bro, I was that's what I'm thinking about what happened to that guy. But like, I ain't gonna lie, man. There's certain things that I wouldn't do for the views. Like we're already doing some max shit with this adventure vlog coming up. But there's a there's a certain limit. We're we're starting we're there's creeping up there. Limits. There's always limits. There's some certain shits I wouldn't do like that. That's a little bit too far, bro. Like I'm cool off that. But but speaking of shit like that, I, I remember I remember I told you I have this one thing I want to talk to you about. There's a there was a there's a mystery that went around in the United States where these people disappeared. It was called or this is one of the biggest mysteries unsolved mysteries in the united states that people don't know what's going on or people didn't know what happened so it's basically it's called the jameson family mystery and it was basically a family in oklahoma the jameson family it was a wife a a wife a husband and their daughter so they lived in oklahoma and they were like they decided that they wanted to live off the grid not really off the grid but live in the wilderness so they land yeah yeah so they they bought 40 acres of land in like the woods and they were going to live in, like, you know, them little um, storage crates, like the big ones? They was going to create that into, like, a little house and shit, which is, yeah. like, you know, nowadays not that really uncommon. Because, you know, you go to Airbnb, they got little unique houses. Yeah, you could make that shit into a house. That's mm-hmm. just big as hell. Yeah. So, so what happened was when they went out there, like, after nine days, nobody heard from them until, I think. Wait, where is that again? In Oklahoma. Oh, Oh yeah, there's so, hella fucking land out yo, there. Yo, there's mad land out there because it's, it's like Midwest flat. Shit. It's that Midwest shit, it's not that, bro. That's like one of the flat states where there's no mountains and shit either. So it was just straight wooded areas and like plains and shit. So they went out there and they went missing. Like they disappeared. Nobody went seen what happened. They found their car, um, in the middle of like uh the dirt roads, like in the in the backwoods and shit like that. A hunter found it and he found both their cell phones. He found the GPS. And they found thirty two thousand dollars in cash in a book in a bag. And they found the dog. He was like barely living in the trunk. So and he's been in there for like maybe like like a week or something like that. And they don't know where the people went. So suppose though so thirty bands. Bro, thirty two K bro. Took out their life savings. <laughs> Literally in cash, bro. So it was very weird because they did a whole search. They couldn't find them. They didn't know where they went. They looked all around the woods. They didn't know where they went. It was like they just vanished. So they they found footage of like them before they disappeared and they were picking up something from like a a car auto shop and like it was weird because i know a lot of psychiatrists were watching the video and they was acting weird like they would just like walk around and they'll stop and they'll just stare off into the distance and then just like go like this and then just keep going about their day and that was the last thing that happened to them so then they start they started asking people like what do you think happened so i remember the they found a f- 11 page paper in the in the car written by the wife to the husband of how much she hates him. So now they're thinking, Oh, maybe the wife killed the husband, Took that nigga in the woods. but nobody knows where the, but nobody knows where the wife where? went. So now three. So now we go three years later, right? They found the bodies. They're find the bodies. They're like, they're three miles away 
from where they said there was going to be, where they found the car. Three miles in the Three woods. Three miles away. Mm-hmm. And before this, they already did like a whole search with all the dogs and shit, but they still couldn't find nothing. And they found their bodies like lined up like next to each other. But only the dad had like a supposed like bullet hole in the head. But everybody else looked like they just died, which is mad, mad weird and odd. So they talked to like family and friends and like the whole testimonies and the whole thing is mad weird. Because I remember before they left, like before they left to go live in the wild, the dad went to the priest and he asked him, he was like, hey, can I get these special bullets made for killing spirits? And it was like, that was, that was strike number one. And then <laughs> number two, killing spirits. that was kind of weird. So then number <laughs> two, they said the wife had, they found a witchcraft book in the car and they, the wife was known to be a witch, like doing spells and like mm. things of that nature. Type shit. So maybe they thought she was crazy. And then even a lot of the family, family friends and things of that nature, they, they told the police officer that, yeah, like they had, they used to complain about hearing things in their house and they thought that their house was haunted and they thought that spirits were like talking to their daughter. So that's probably why they left that house to go into mm. the woods. So a lot of people don't know what happened. People think that maybe they got possessed or something like that yeah. and they got taken into the woods and they probably just died in the woods from the possession. A lot of people think that maybe, um, they were in like a drug deal or whatever. And that's what the, the cash was for. Like they owed people mad money. And I guess those people killed them because when they found their bodies, there was no weapon. So until this day, they don't know what happened. There's like so many different like theories and allegations. Like one goes, I think um, the dad of the husband didn't like him. So they think that the dad killed them. It's just so much shit. And like, they just don't know what happened to them, bro. It was just like, they just vanished. That's what I'm saying. People really could just, wherever you are in the world, you can really just, get disappear or get kidnapped at any moment and it's like nobody may not ever find out find nah, you or find out what know. happened to you bro depending on what the fuck happens or what the fuck happened to you and shit like that's just wild crazy bro. bro it's so funny you say that but that's what i'm saying i'll be watching a lot of these crazy movies yeah and it's just like damn i like to watch a lot of like i said scary <laughs> movies mm -hmm. suspenseful movies and just movies that just make you think mm -hmm. but Jay loves kidnapping uh, movies. Bro, I think I might have told you this on the podcast. I don't know if you ever watched it, but mm -hmm. it was this one. Of, that's what I'm saying. I don't be playing. I like I like to go in the woods, but like only when it comes to like fishing and with my, Your dad my was, family yeah, yeah, and my yeah. peoples and shit. But mm -hmm. I don't know if you watched this movie. I think I mentioned it on the pod. Maybe, maybe not. But it was called like Calibre or something. It was spelled weird like. C A L I B R E. I don't know how you say it. No. Calibre or something like that. But long story short, it was basically about this dude. These two dudes, they were like best friends, and they went on like a <clears throat> like a hike and some shit. Yeah, like uh, a cabin getaway somewhere in the woods to like this resort. Yeah, yeah. And they went like hunting on this resort or some shit. Mm -hmm. Long story short, they're like hunting. About to shoot this fucking deer or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're like locked in. And they like. They shoot this. They think they shoot this deer. The deer like. Moves out of the way and low key. It's like it's like a kid. And they fucking shoot this kid. And they kill this kid. And um. Like they thought. I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. But like. They shoot the kid. And. I don't know. I think they. They try to like. Get rid of... They try to, like, hide him or something. Yeah. And then they go back to the resort. And then, like... I don't know. Niggas are just hella suspicious. Niggas start... Seeing shit? Asking about the kid oh. and, like, where the kid is at. And niggas is not saying nothing. So and they then, thought it was a deer. Yeah, like, it was... They were they were looking to shoot, shoot at the deer or something. And then mm -hmm. they low-key killed the kid. And they go back to this resort and then people it's obviously a kid from the resort and like it's just a crazy story about really yeah like they like, get like interrogated and all this crazy stuff starts happening to them like they start finding out that's they think wild. they think they that they killed them or not like it's it's a crazy it's a crazy story like that's wild that's what bro. i'm saying crazy stuff really be happening Especially in the woods in the woods bro and there's woods mm -hmm. all over the world bro. especially the all woods by over. us like the, you know, 
Like, you know. Northeast area just got so much woods, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, you know where I want to go? Maybe for an adventure vlog. I want to do. <clears throat> you ever been to, like, the Appalachian trails and shit? Nah. I, I heard them shits is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, I heard there's, like, freaking. Like, that shit's either. There's, like, people be seeing things, people be hearing shit. Like, there's, it's haunted that there's, like, feral people that live on that shit. There's, like, homeless people that live in the woods that, like, guard it like a fucking, like, a, like the wrong turn and shit, bro. Like, I like, but they say, they say if you, you can walk, like, people walk on the Appalachian Trail, like, normally, like, hikers. But it says you, you have to walk with somebody. Because if you walk alone, like, a lot of people went missing. And it's crazy. Like, I want, I, yeah. I want to, maybe. I would, no, I would never go in the woods alone. Hell no. Anyways. But we might do that for our adventure vlog. If y'all want to see that, comment below if you made this far. But I remember <laughs> I was I heard a story about like the Appalachian Trail, and it was like in PA because the Appalachian Trail goes from Georgia all the way up to yeah, Maine. Yeah, it's all it's that like shit is all huge. The whole Northeast, yeah, exactly. And it's like it's like the Rocky Mountains of like over here, mm -hmm. low key. So there was like a there's the part of the trails in Pennsylvania. So yeah, there was a, it is there was a couple that was walking. You know, they was just normally hiking and shit like that just throughout the day, and I guess they stumbled across somebody living like off the trail. Like, you know, he lives, there's a lot of people that live off the grid and of shit. Of course. So they of found course. somebody and they, he ended up killing both of them because supposedly he was like a serial killer on the run from Florida. That's what I'm saying. And he bro. just, he up that's and left. You don't know who be in them woods. You bro. don't know who be in the woods. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like when, when you was talking about like people just get shot, like that kid was probably just walking just normally. Nigga, you can just get shot by anybody. Like I heard there was like a group of people that, that guard the trail and mess with the hikers like as, for a living, like a cult. Like they just go in there and Bro, mess with them and shit. You heard of that? What's it called? <laughs> that shit in Cali? That dang Bohemian Grove, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit that uh, what's his name? Ryan Remember Garcia. Remember when was he was tweaking out on Twitter? He was tweaking out, bro. Yeah, yeah. I do think he was tweaking out, but like I've heard lots of crazy stuff. I've seen movies about that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, but that's that what I'm saying. Though. When we went to Cali, though, bro, like. Cali big as shit Like I seen some trees The mm. trees over there They're They look huge, like They bro. would be in Jurassic Park I ain't Yeah going like, like I've been Out of the country Yep And I ain't never seen Trees like that I've mm -hmm. been to the Caribbean Yeah they got nice ass Palm trees They got nice ass Hot trees But them shits Like I've seen trees Like that were as big As like skyscrapers like, Yeah bro Not skyscrapers But like buildings Yeah buildings like, and shit Like there were some Big ass Trees that if that shit fell in your house, oh, your whole house would probably be cooked. Like, like people think, like when they think of LA, they just or think of Cali, they just think of the cities. But nah, that shit's really mostly woods, bro. Like now I think about it, I low key wish, I low key wish we went to the dang, the dang Hollywood sign. Yeah, but I heard that shit was a was a far walk. And oh I, hell yeah! I know niggas is not down for that, but like that shit's like me a and hike, Jordan, nigga. when me and Jordan was <laughs> was uh like last summer and the summer before that, we was doing. Hiking Hella hiking and, and yeah. my boy Lotus, yo, we was hiking for hours and stuff. Like, yeah, I, I wish we would have did that in Holly, Cali, that Hollywood shit because yeah, that shit probably would have been fire. We probably would have seen. Don't worry, bro. We go, we going some crazy shit. I want to go to the Grand Canyon too. Yeah, we flew over that shit when we really when we went. I yeah. didn't peep. I didn't peep that shit. I want to do that too. That'd be fire. Grand like Canyon like, is crazy though. You can get lost in oh, that shit yeah. too. What the fuck? You can get lost in that shit too. That's why I need a guide, bro. Like I remember. Oh my god, I heard this. I heard another story about somebody about this hiking story in um California. So like, there's a trail in California that you can like if you walk it, you can walk from the top to the bottom. So somebody was doing a because you know a lot of people like you know backpack across it. So he was like doing that. He would camp like here and there. Like he has camping shit. He'll stop in the town if you need food or whatever. So he was walking the trail and I think he was, I forgot where he was by. He was by like towards the bottom and he, he recalls this shit was creepy as fuck. He was walking and he saw, he swore he sees somebody behind him. He turns around. Nobody's there. He keeps walking. He hears like the footsteps behind him. He turns around. There's a guy in a white robe, like, like a, like a, like a, like a, what's that called? Like a, I don't like. Like, you know, like back in the old days, they used to wear like robes and shit, yeah. like a white, like a toga shit. He was wearing that. And he was just like, he was like, all right, this, this kind of weird. Like, how you doing? Are you good? He was like, the guy just looked down, like he just looked down up and down Fuck and just, no. and just walked past him. Fuck no. So then the guy was just like, bro, the guy just thought he was just a walking person. Like, okay, that's kind of weird. So he just kept walking down the trail because the guy went the other way. So he's like, okay. He set up camp and he, 
he hears the like he what he does is he puts sticks around the thing. So if somebody walks, he can hear him. He just hears like the sticks crack, and he's like, "Oh no, what the fuck is that?" He's like, "Yo, if you you out there, leave me alone. Like, yeah, get away." The, the cracking stops. He goes outside with a flashlight, and like it's pitch black dark because he's in the middle of the woods, pitch black. And he's like, "Yo, is anybody out there?" He hears a he has a stick, and it's like coming closer. And then he turns the flashlight. It's that same guy with the robe, and he runs up to him. And he's like right here in his face. He scares him. He's like, yo, what do you want? And he's just looking at him. And then he jumps back into the tent, zips it up. And then you just hear the guy just walk away. And then like he's still walking this trail. And he says he's, he sees like more of them. And it's like he sees like another person in all white robe, all, all white robe. And he's just being followed constantly until he's like, you know, I'm done. And then he just goes into the town. And he just like flies back home. Like, there's, like, people that live in these woods. Like, what the Bro, fuck is I'm that? I'm not playing that <laughs> shit. I promise you. Every, every time I go out somewhere that I'm not in my own area, bro, bro, I'm having some sort of protection on me. You have to, bro. I'm not playing that. Like, it's just too many. There's too many crazy people, crazy things out here. Like, you just got to be. You got to protect yourself as much as possible. I'm not playing that. Like, that shit, bro. Uh, that's crazy. That's, a that's lot. crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's very scary. I like, imagine we lie. see some shit if we go on the app. That's, that's why I don't really like. That's why I don't really like camping, like, cause I yeah. just feel like you so, like I, like I'll do camping, maybe like a couple, like one or two times. Only if it's like, in a I, campground. That's what I'm saying. Like, or, more people. Or I just want to get like a cabin. I'm cool with just being oh, yeah, in a yeah. cabin, but like, nah. Even though, like, imagine you in a cabin all by yourself. Like, nah, like, not by myself. Like, same thing. Like, I'm gonna girl. be with people, but. Like imagine you got you get a cabin in the Poconos in the middle of the woods. It's just you and your girl. Nah, like, like I, I'm saying, I need to be like in a in a community or something. Like, yeah, yeah. Just dead me in the middle of the woods. Nah, mm-hmm. that's what that's what me and Jay did. Like when I did for our anniversary, we got a. Remember I told you I copped a cabin. Mm-hmm. I th- I was hoping it wasn't like a cabin like that was in the middle of the woods, but it was like in a in a community. So it was yeah, cool. that's that's valid. Yeah, but it was cool. People that be completely away. Nah, yeah, definitely nah. brave people. Yeah, hell no. Definitely brave. I can't do that, bro. Because ain't nobody saving you out there. Hell ain't no, nobody, bro, nobody saving gonna hear your ass. Nobody saving you. No, I know nobody visiting you either. Mm-hmm. Yep. I no. ain't gonna lie. I, used, I have my aunt moved, but she had a big house in the a big house in the middle of the woods. Like, bro, when I tell you it was a big house in the middle of the woods, like. Like, there's, like, her neighbors are mad far away and shit? Nah, not mad far, but it was still, like... A good distance? A distance. Like, if somebody, like, if I was, like, if somebody was, like, you know, God forbid, like, home invade my shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like, they would have to run, like, a couple distance. Like, her neighbor was, like... Was it able... You were able to see her? Like, you know, let's say this street right here. Yeah. You know where that stop sign is? Yeah. Like... By there, by the down the street, like where the where the intersection is. Yeah, that like that's where like her nearest neighbor would be, like and probably like at the that the intersection. And, and, and then, there's like, still from, trees. Oh, it's just it's just a shitload of trees. Oh no! Nah. But like, and then like right here, your nearest neighbor would probably be like, probably like the last, the last house on like, back there. Type oh, shit. Oh yeah, that's that's too much distance, man. And then the and then the rest is just wood. Like when I tell you, like if it wasn't for the lights around her house, there was no street lights. Like oh yeah, nah. like the roads back there were pitch black. Like, See, I love. I think I like the, the first country. year. She told me she was she Scared? was terrified. She couldn't. It was she hard for herself? her to sleep. It was only her and my little cousin. Yeah no, <laughs> yeah no. That's crazy. That's wild. I need at least like a good sized family. Like I need like me Jay and like she did that kids. shit for years and then she moved. She's at a a nice apartment now, but she had that big house for a minute because she was living there with my uncle before. Yeah, yeah. But they uh separated and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. then she had that whole big ass big ass house. It like was, how many rooms you think? It was like five or six. Damn, six rooms. Six. Probably yeah. That's and, OD. Wow. That's and uh, she only used. Two of them. And I'll be scared of shit at night. Bro. And then she watched the fucking The that. Strangers movie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She was She's up. She was she was scared for like a year and some change. I'll be I scared too. Lie. Or that what's that other movie called? Hush? 
with mm-hmm. the with the deaf girl. Oh God, now nah, that was that's crazy. That was stupid though. Why the hell nah, you being deaf and all that shit in the middle in the of the woods? You're fucking wilding. Like <laughs> you just. But that's just, what I'm saying though. For somebody, I feel like that that story was low key fake. Like, oh what you mean? How like, do you how do you rob somebody? And they just happen to be fucking deaf, like, <laughs> like you just happen to rob the right house. Like she was, she was going crazy. She was giving up a good fight and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the fact that she was deaf too, like, that was that guy was really lucky. Like, if it was a normal person, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it was a normal person, I feel like it wouldn't have <sighs> half that shit wouldn't have happened. Even though, even if it was a normal, because he was doing some sneaky shit. Like he was he going was, around the crib, was shooting a bow and arrow and shit. He would go inside the crib, come back out. Like he was tweaking a little bit. Like that would yeah. fuck my head up. I think he would get my ass. Yeah, <laughs> he was on some. He was on some shit. Some I'm bounty like, hunter shit. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro. Thank. See, that's the show. That's the shit we was talking about with the movies. If that was real, that's the shit was real. That's crazy work. But that's your fault, though. You death and you live in the middle of the woods. That's your fault. Why the <laughs> fuck you doing that shit? Like, you know niggas out for you, bro. Come on, cuz. Baby, she said, she said the city was too loud, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> the city was too loud for her, That's bro. crazy work. Okay. <laughs> but, all right, I got, I got a question for you, right? Yep. So, since we talk about movies, which movie scenario are you choosing to survive if your life depended on it? Hmm. You have to survive five days without going to sleep with Freddy Krueger. Keep oh. away from Jason for one hour in a mansion, and you can't leave the house until the hour's over. Or be stuck in the sewers with the clown from It for four days. Man, nah, I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to take in the house, cuz. You think, bro? That nigga Jason for don't an hour? stop. Yeah, an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna just be running. Oh my gosh! But what if he corners you? You're done. He could corner you in five minutes. <laughs> Cause that nigga just be popping up, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie. Bruh, four days, four days in the sewer. That's the dumbest one. If nah. anybody <laughs> ever chooses that one, but the clown, bro, he could pop up anywhere. But you just don't. You don't have to be. You just gotta be. No, you just can't be scared. Can't of him. be scared of him. You just gotta look at him like you bitch ass nigga. That's gonna be. But that's I w- gonna be impossible. I know that, bro. especially if I'm in. I'm he already praise. Be, he preys on your fears, bro. I know, and I'm already gonna be scared because I don't like the dark. I'm already in the sewers and the stinking and the that shit. The sewers crazy. I don't <sighs> be scared of the rats that's just running yeah. around. Yeah. All right. What about Freddy Krueger? Five days? Nah, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Nah. I can't sleep. I'm already be tweaking when I don't get sleep now, but no sleep. And now I have to worry about this dude? Nah. Five days. You just got to drink milk. I think I can only stay up for like probably a day and some change. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Now, what is your plan with Jason though? Like, say you're in a... Say say you're in your... How big is the mansion? In my house? Nah, Damn. say... No, 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 your house is not fair. Because the nigga, you go up. You got so many spots. That's what I'm saying. Like, you guys cornered upstairs in your crib, you're done. Cooked. Let's say, um, let's say, uh, uh, an eight bedroom mansion. Eight bedroom, five bathrooms. We'll say four floors. Four floors, shit. I just got to spend. I got to just. Four floors. I got to spend at least like. I gotta spend at least like 10, 15 minutes on each floor. Yeah. Low key. Like, you gotta, gotta be going in and out the rooms, but silent. But that nigga just be popping up. That's what so I'm saying. He could pop up in the the wrong room. I, that's, this is what I'm gonna do. This is my plan. I'm gonna, okay. I don't want, this might backfire on me. Like, I would say, like, barricade one room and just be like, all right. I know, like, unless, like, like I'm gonna be in the closet, just make sure he doesn't come in. But, like, if he comes in, I'm fucked. That's what that's what's that's what's nah, fucking me a, up. I think if I do barricade a room, it's gonna be the last room, probably like when on I the have, bottom. If I make it that long, yeah, yeah. If you said an hour, if I make it like with the last, because the hour's a long minutes, ass it, time, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With the last like ten minutes left, I'm a barricade wherever I'm at. Really? Because you know what? I'm a, I have to make I have to be in the master bedroom though. I need a, I need enough space to run. Yeah. And like to evade that nigga, like I'm gonna be parkouring the shit out, cause <laughs> like he gonna like he gonna look at me like I'm fucking Spider Man, cause like I'm gonna be really well. And then I'm a I'm gonna try to I'm gonna have some weapons. I'm gonna get like a frying pan as a <laughs> shield, a, frying a stainless steel that frying pan w shield. as a shield, that and then a knife. I stop bullets. I ain't going high on. key. So he just got a knife on him. Is he is he he type strong too, right? Like if I bull rush him, he might not get knocked yeah, down. Yeah, he's low key like a wall. Fuck! I was gonna try to like push him off like the the banister and like have him fall and just like have him slow down a little bit. Maybe, maybe, 
You got to hit that nigga. Well, you probably least didn't expect the nigga. Low-key. Low-key, give me like... Low-key low-cut him. Shit. Or give... if, if he's like behind, just go straight to his legs. Yo. <laughs> low-key, low give me five hours of prep time. I'll make that mansion to like home alone, my nigga. <laughs> I'll booby trap five hours of prep time. I'll, I'll booby trap the hell out that that mansion, bro. I promise you, there's gonna be trap doors. I'm gonna put spikes in the ground. They're gonna you need to. God, I'm gonna try to find something. I'm gonna put like a beehive. So, I'm gonna find some way, bro. Some way. All right. Ooh, I got a, I got another question to ask you about a month. I got a lot of movie questions for you, brother. Cause I know you love movies. Hell yeah. So someone's offering you a billion dollars to survive a week in this apocalyptic movie. Can you do it? And Brilliant. I have a list of movies for you. A billion dollars. You just gotta survive one week. One week. Yep. It's a long time. Yeah, it is a long time, but hey, man, we really <laughs> them niggas. So the first one is The Planet of the Apes. You can pick whichever movie you want from the trilogy or even the new one that came out, but I don't even think that's going to help. <laughs> Shit. Um, Do you think you can survive that for a week? Um, It depends... Um, I don't know which movie. Um, dang, there's a bunch of movies. Because even though, like, you don't even have to worry about the the monkeys. You got to worry about the sickness. Wasn't there was like a freaking disease that went around that killed everybody? Yeah. So, and only the monkeys were to, were immune to it and shit, which was crazy. But I, me personally, I think I could. I, I think I could. I think I can quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, I think as I could. long as the monkeys ain't ain't wilding on me, I think I could do that. That's what I'm saying. As long as they not ransacking my neighborhood. And trying to kill me. I think I'm good. I can stay in the crib for like a week. If it's my crib, I can stay in here for a week. But if if now if they put me in the one where it's already apocalyptic world, oh, nah. now that's where you lost me. That's yeah, why I where can't they do that. Took over. Yeah. Nah. Now that's They're where they're just gonna cook me up. But at the same time, you really think a bunch of monkeys can stop me, bro? <laughs> that's another bro, thing they, I think about. They was freaking. They were huge. They though. were stopping the world, bro. So. They were big as hell. Like they weren't normal chimps. Them things were six feet they tall. They had freaking guns and stuff. That bro. was true. Okay, they was they was doing some other stuff. That world I might not survive, but maybe another one probably. Next one is I am Legend. I don't know about you. I'm surviving that shit. I am Legend. <laughs> that shit. Um, that shit light. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, as long as you don't, you don't. You as just, long as you don't go out at night. Exactly. Don't go out you're at night. Really good. Will Smith. He was just doing the most. Oh yeah, he was trying he to find the cure. He wanted to find the cure, so I mean, doing that, you gonna, you gonna do everything that deserved to happen. Yeah, you gonna. They wanted to kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. And then he went into the building, or he had to go into the building to find the dog because his dog did some bullshit. But if I'm by myself, that's easy work. First I of all, legend. he killed. <laughs> he killed like the freaking overlord, like the boss is like lady or something like mm -hmm. or he was trying to like he was like trying to dissect her or some shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, he kidnapped he he wanted to catch one of them so, so he could can, get their dna and try and to cure it, yeah. so he called one of them and they found that out that dude started tweaking Hell yeah. found out where they lived at mm -hmm. as then, long as i don't do that shit i'm good yeah nigga i'm staying in that crib buckled down i'm gonna have some nice food and shit i'm cool i'm cool bro come on bro, he would go out and just hunt during the day yep like, then he would put like the alcohol down at night so they wouldn't smell him or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, bro. That's like, he was living for a long time before yeah, days. Was, I don't know. It was probably weeks, months, mm -hmm. years, I, probably. I heard they're coming out with a new one too. Like I am Legend, like two. I think. I think it was like a. I think it's where like I think his son's gonna be in it. Bro, they should. But if they did, because I think it was I am Legend. I think it was just the city. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the whole world. But no, no, it was just that one city, and they like quarantined it. Yeah, they need to do like something with the whole world or something. That would be tough. That's why. That's why they had to change the ending, so they can make another movie. You, you, you didn't peep that. Like you remember in the end where like he threw the grenade and killed himself. Oh yeah, they and took it was that. Like... They changed that shit <laughs> to where like he's like, "Yo, relax, we good." And then like the guy's like, "Okay, fine, you got it," and he just walked away. <laughs> that's why I always wondered why they did that, but now it makes sense now. Cause they're trying to make it into like a two, like another part of the movie. Because if he would have just died there, then this is like, oh well, yeah. How's he living now? Like it's making it a lot harder for them to rewrite another shit. But I guess W writing. The next one, definitely W. The next one is a civil war. A civil war. So say if, say if Texas and California became one country and they're at war with the United States. Like imagine there's war on our soil against each other. 
I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm surviving that. Because you gotta think about it. You don't know who to trust. And like these niggas out, out here killing people just because they want to take over the world. Like I remember there's like a mo- new movie coming out. But first of all, we live in New York and shit. They sending the bombers to us if they trying to fight with the East Coast and the North and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna get us, then they're gonna get Miami, and they're gonna make their way to Washington, DC. Yeah, the <laughs> The fluent areas, mm-hmm. the areas, there's a lot of people. Exactly. I'm like, you know, people are going to say, like, you know, you could kill humans. Like, I could kill humans, but, like, I'm not really fluent with the gun. The people in California and Texas, they be shooting their whole lives. They going to get my ass quick as fuck. Yeah, they know, they know, they know their ways around the they know, straps. They know, they be carrying guns since they was, like, five. Like, what the hell, what I'm going to do? They know, they going to get me, they going to get my ass out of here, yeah, bro. Yeah, that would be a really dangerous world. Oh, my God, all the racist people? Oh, my gosh. They're going to freaking tweak. Now that I, I I think I'm cool off that, and yeah. then and then the last movie is Aliens, the one where they was trapped in the in space, and like Aliens. not the it was like a it was the Alien movie where oh it's it's a new Alien movie that's coming out they're making a new one where it's like they're trapped there was they were in the space station and like the little the alien, aliens from Alien versus Predator yeah like you know oh, the little no. babies and shit they came out and they were like taking over the ship you think you could survive that. Hell no. Yeah, no, nah, that's the deep. alien was OD. The Predator was Alien versus Predator, bro. The Predator, they just made the Predator too OP. Oh no, not I just not the Predator, just the alien. I know, but the alien was max. <laughs> like mm-hmm. yeah, that they shit made was huge. the Predator too OD. They made that nigga be able to go invincible. Then there was multiple Predators. Like the alien was already super strong. Exactly. Now you by, got by the- itself. Like it could it was just mad strong. And then but you got the, the being little, trapped in space with that. No, nah, I'm not surviving. It's with one of those and it's babies, the nah. little ones that used to take the humans and like like uh, eat them from the inside out. Yeah, nah. for a week, I might Heck last nah. like I might last like two days, <laughs> two yeah, days maybe, two days maybe max. a day. But them like, things, nah. I'd be too scared. The fuck. alien it was too max. I the need f- to rewatch them. The fuck, it's like yo, <gasps> it's like <clears throat> it's like. First of all, now I'm in this little claustrophobic ass space where I'm like, I gotta run. I don't got no space to run. If I get cornered, I'm done for. And it's like, maybe I can have myself in like a little air t- airlock shit that might survive. Maybe, but that's what are the what are the odds that shit gonna fucking happen? But I I would rather not do that. But Heck nah. yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm I'm cool with all that, bro. But um, I got hmm, I got one more question to ask about a movie and then. We can we can end the pod because I got yep. we got some we got some yes, good sir. good yes, shit sir. for today. We some good stuff. So, you know, you know me and the guy, you know us and the guys, we a bunch of unique people, right? Type shit. So, what do you think, in your opinion, if if we had the opportunity to live in a horror movie world, me like me, you, Jordan, all the guys, mm-hmm. which world do you think we could live in for like a month where it'll be like comfortably? Like, you know, it would be type cool. It wouldn't be, like, scared for a life, but it would be low-key kind of fun. Um, I think for me, like, what I... Is it a scary movie? Yeah, like a little horror movie or, like, a suspenseful movie. Um, That we live for a month? Yeah, just for a month. I think Maze Runner. You said Maze Runner? Ah, that's a good movie. Maze Runner with the guys? That would be kind of tough. We that really, would be tough. But, like, I'm not going to be the runner. Who's going to be... Who's going who gonna to have as the runner? It might have to be like low key. It might be have to be me and you, cause yeah, me, you, Jason, because I'm good with direction, and you and Jason might be one of the, the like the fastest niggas. Might be yeah. So that would I be kind of. I, I would not like that. <laughs> I would not want to do that. I would not want to do it, but but the guys, you know, that'd be kind of fun. Or I was thinking, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Um, The Conjuring. The Conjuring. If That's- we. That's 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 deep. That's <laughs> a, nah, I don't know about that. Some niggas might. Yo. Some niggas might uh. Niggas crash <laughs> out. They might crash out. That would be mad. I feel like that'd be mad funny. Like conjuring would be crazy. Like imagine who you think would be possessed. I'm going moneyline Jason. Man, moneyline Jason. Either. Everybody getting possessed. Nah, if there was one person you could pick. Um, Jason getting cooked. I ain't gonna lie, but we can we gonna save him. But he gonna, he gonna be really crashing on the nigga. Probably Jakai. <laughs> that was random, but... Jakai being possessed is crazy. That would be funny. I just feel like... Yo, nah, I can't even imagine... Nah, I'm, now I'm imagining... It'll that just sh- be random, like... It'll 
he'll just be sitting there. He'll just be like <laughs> tweaking. Yo, all right, all right. What but about? They won't think about it. They won't think about it. They'll just give it to him. <laughs> all right. What about? What about? Um. Uh. What? What was that movie? Param- what about Paranormal Activity? That'd be kind of tough. That's not that bad. Were, were they getting possessed in that movie? I think they was just nah, but they was getting like thrown around and shit. I ain't going. That'd be kind of tough. Like we lived in that crib, like a nice ass crib. Like you like, yo, you just got fucked up by the ghost today. Nah, bro, <laughs> that nigga tweaked on me today, bro. He's like, yo, you got touched. He's like, man, it's all good, bro. The ghost is all good. You gonna go away soon. That'd be that'd be kind of funny. Or let me think. Another movie. Um, what's another? What's another horror movie? Nah, you know what? Thing would be tough, but I don't think we would survive. Um. Uh... Them Resident Evil movies. Oh shit! Now, nah. if we was all if we was all strapped up like that girl, that girl made it through like seven movies. Like she was going <laughs> crazy. She was fighting that, demons, that right? Main character. She was fighting all them things in Resident Evil. There was zombies, monsters, all weird yeah, shit. That'll be Resident fun Evil. as fuck. That's what I'm saying. That shit would be lit. But would niggas survive a month? Probably not. Probably not. I'll say a good a good amount of us will but survive. It would be fun though. Resident Evil. Jordan gonna good. be out of here first because he's gonna wild out. He gonna be hella excited. He's like, bro, let's go kill you, and then he's gonna end up fucking dying. <laughs> then, you know, Jordan love doing shit like that. But nah, that would be that would be actually kind of fun. Like if we imagine we go in there, we could just keep spawning back. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be type lit. I ain't gonna lie, I would love that shit. That just, shit would be crazy. Let me think. What other, what's another movie? Mm, not the Hunger Games. That's I was good. about to say that, but nah, that nah. means we would have to cook each other. Yeah, nah, I'm cool off that. Nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's crazy. Cook each other. That's crazy work. Um, uh, what's that other movie? Uh, Battlefield Los Angeles. No, I don't want to fight aliens. No shit with the aliens, the yeah. robots or whatever. And like the Marines was fighting them and shit. Nah. Mm. Dang. Nah, no, nah, I don't. I don't think that's one. That one's doing. I don't know. Them horror movies be <laughs> be pretty horrible to survive. <laughs> to survive a whole month, they'd be pretty terrible. <laughs> All right, low key Halloween is possible. It's a Halloween. We just gotta stay away from his track. If we see Michael, My- as long as one of us don't see Michael Myers, we'd be good. We can we can get away from him for a good amount of time. We got the whole world to escape. That would be fun. That would be kind of be fun. That would be scary. That would be stressful. Like, I, I, like, what, like if we ev- evade them one time and we live, I'm like, yo, that shit was fucking crazy. We survived that shit. That would be kind of survived kinda, them one time and then it was done up. It would be some tough ass niggas for that. Um, no, not Bird Box. I would never want to live that. Hell no. I was thinking about that or that freaking movie, Quiet Place. Yeah. Hell, hell no. no. Hell, hell no. no. Nigga, we got well, we got too many people that's too, too many damn loud. loud as shit. Nah. Too loud. We got people that breathe loud. Like it's not that's not gonna happen. There's no way in God's green earth that we're gonna be able to survive that. Even even have fun with that. That's too crazy. Um let me do let me think of one last horror movie. I feel like, you know, nah, not a movie, but we we would we would go crazy in the walking dead. Oh yeah! We, oh we, yeah! Yeah we, yeah! We would go crazy. We would we would make the Walking Dead lit. Oh my god! It's already be, lit, but that would be the, so our much personalities fun. in the Walking Dead would be too. That would too be lit. so fun. Like, cause that we're gonna shit. we're gonna have our own little faction. Niggas gonna try to fu- try to fuck with them. Like, bro, niggas get your weird ass. Too many Call of Duties, bro. I'm we, saying, we bro. Ready. We gonna be ra- we gonna be raiding. We gonna be raiding people. We gonna be raiding cities we for got supplies. Too many dudes that ready or think they ready. Yeah, type shit, bro. <laughs> niggas, y'all know, bro. Y'all know, but you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Before we end the pod. Uh, <laughs> nah, bro. You good to go? Yeah. Man. It's been, it's been some good shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank you again, my brother. Yes, sir. For pulling up to another podcast. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 134. We're closing in on episode 150. We're closing on an episode. Sheesh. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. We're closing in on 600K on TikTok and 30K. We're getting up there, people. So thank y'all again for tuning in to the journey and following us for however long y'all may if y'all was there from the beginning for what two and a half years ago thank y'all if y'all just joining this week thank y'all for watching and listening man we got a lot of new things coming up when 10k drops who knows maybe the adventure vlog 2 comes out we already talked about 3 maybe we got 2 so stay tuned for that bro we got a lot of good stuff coming you know what I'm saying follow us on Twitch follow us on TikTok Instagram all the socials will be down below uh, we go live on Twitch and TikTok every weekend. And during the day, during the week, you might see Jason and shit. 
Um, follow us on all social media or not social media, uh, audio platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. You know, give us a rating, five stars. It's free. If you don't like us, you know, you can still give us a rating. It's not that Type hard. Shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got any last words, my brother? Just uh, stay true. Type shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we different. They regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. Yeah. I'm going to go get it. Yeah.